This is how I die now Hands to the air No, they can't stop the sky from falling down Down yeah. You never wrapped your arms around me in the night I can feel them I've never looked across the room and caught your eyes But I can see them Somewhere out there in the pouring rain Wondering if I feel the same No, I don't even know your name yet. But every time I fall, fall, and fall again I'm just getting one step closer to you and in the end i know that we'll find each other in the dark but i can hear them i've never held you so damn close i feel your heart but i know we feel somewhere out there in the pouring rain wondering if i feel the same no i don't even know your name but every time i fall fall and fall again I'm just getting one step closer to you And in the end I know that we'll find each other there And even though it seems so far I'm getting close Each time I fall, fall, and fall again And I'll meet you in the end Hello, hello. Welcome. Road to the show time. Finally, I'm playing MLB on the channel. I'm so excited to be playing something other than Madden. I'm not going to lie to you. It's been something I've been looking forward to for a while. And it's here. And we're here. And we're doing Road to the Show. So we're going to do a male ball player because I'm a male. Uh, we will use the currently active roster. So it might not have all of the prospects, but that's not as big of a deal in Road to the Show. We are going to be a two-way player. I did say I would do that. So we're going to be a starting pitcher, and then I haven't decided where else we should play. 
So do we want to throw absolute heat? Do we want to have a ton of break? Do we want to have control or do we want to be a knuckleballer? Hmm. I'm almost thinking break, like just a ton of movement on all the pitches. I want to throw a nasty sweeper. You're thinking heat? All right, whatever Salami says. Okay, actually, I'm cool with heat. I just want to have a nasty sweeper. A sweeping curve. As long as I can have a really nasty curveball, I'm chilling. All right, and then... Obviously, we want to be a home run hitter. We're trying to be Shohei Otani 2.0, I think. And we're going to be a starting pitcher. And then what position should we play as our two-way player? I was kind of thinking catcher. It makes sense a little bit to be a catcher and a pitcher. They obviously kind of go together very well. First base is a super easy one. I think that should be off the table because it's kind of boring. Any of the infield positions or any of the outfield positions are fun. Um... Hmm. What are we thinking? Big shortstop or outfield? Slami, thank you for 28 months, by the way. Appreciate that. Big shortstop or outfield? Let's play center. Let's be a center fielder. We'll be the captain of the outfield. Range is imperative. Oh, so we'd want to be fast. So maybe not if we're being a power hitter. Right infielders are not required to have as much speed and range, but often have the strongest. That makes perfect sense. Right field. You have a cannon of an arm, which makes sense because we're a pitcher, and you don't have to cover as much ground. There you go. Right fielder, starting pitcher. That's us. Okay. And... I've decided the name of our player. So, the Truman family has kind of become the family of this YouTube channel. We've got Chester Truman, the elite wide receiver in the NFL. Trumeb Truman, the elite wide receiver in the NFL. You've got Chester Truman's little brother, Daniel, the terrible wide receiver on the same team in the NFL. This... This is Trevor Truman. He is the third son of the Truman fa family, and he is a baseball player. He decided not to go the football route. He played quarterback in high school, but decided to go baseball instead of football. That's his story. You want Joe Truman? I was also thinking Teddy, like Teddy Truman. I want it to be a T name, though, for the alliteration. What a Preston. You said break. Sorry, I missed that chat. Teddy. Teddy or Trevor? What, what do you want? Tina Truman? Tyler? Tyler Truman? Teddy. I think Ted. I'm, I'm feeling Teddy now. Teddy Truman. And Truman is really not a last name in this. T-Ball? T-Ball is a great nickname. Teddy, Teddy Trucks. <laughs> Truman's not a name in this. He can be Teddy Trucks, though. Teddy Tug. It's Teddy Tug. Teddy Tug Truman. Teddy the Kid. Teddy Tex. You want Teddy Tug? All right, Teddy Tug it is. Because they don't have Truman as a last name audio in here. What number does Teddy wear? You know, his his little brother, or actually, sorry, he's the youngest of the three brothers. So his older brothers wear 14 and 1 in the NFL. So I'm thinking Teddy would want to be different. And he's going to go maybe somewhere in the 30s or something. Maybe just 30. He's Michael Jordan. He could be 23. Is, do they have 42? Like, can you select 42? You can't. I knew it. Okay. 
Figured they'd have it retired. I'm thinking number 30 for Teddy. Teddy Tugboat Truman. Uh, he's going to throw right-handed. And he's going to bat right-handed. Where? Okay, so Chester went to Washington State. And Daniel went to Colorado State. So it's definitely Western region, I think. And I'm going to say that they're from Washington. That's the the fa the Chester Chester Truman's family, the Truman family is from Washington. There's his general information. Now we got to change the way he looks. So let's pick his head. Honestly, his head already kind of looks Truman esque. He looks a little bit like Chester already. I, I can see that. But he needs to be like a little bit lighter skin color. And is that a thing that is dependent on the head shape? Because Chester and Daniel are very light skinned gentlemen. I don't even know if you can change that in this. Also, how tall is this guy? 74. Isn't that just, yeah, 6'2? I think 6 foot 2 is, is good. 6'2", 215, he's kind of big. He's he's buff, he's ripped. Big head, normal neck. Girth? Oh, okay. <laughs> you could change girth in this. 30 girth. Um, is this arm length? No, oh my god, it's arm thickness. Now, I think he's probably a little skinny. He's just kind of lean. Because um, his brothers... He's the tallest of the brothers. Because his brothers are 6 foot and 5'11". So him being 6'2", he's already kind of tall compared to his brothers. Face region chubbiness? What? How is he skinny and a big hitter? Uh, what's What's that guy's name? What's that one guy's name? Ichiro. Ichiro could have been a big hitter. Fine, I'll make his arms bigger. What other head shapes do we have? Is there one that looks a bit more... Basically, I'm just trying to make Chester Truman and say it's his brother, practically. Ooh, that might look the most like Chester, actually. Chester has a very round face. Maybe we go with male shape 16. That looks a decent bit like Chester. Oh my god. This guy looks this guy looks like he's like having his head blown up by like a like a pump, like an air pump. I think this one. Yeah, a lot. Most of these faces are like very square, but the Truman boys have quite round faces. It's part of their genome. Yeah, no, I'm happy with this face. Ha head size. Oh wow, you can make his head like big, big. Nah, he's got a he's got a normal head. Crown height. So you can give him a taller forehead. Not nah, like I said, round faces. I honestly think he looks fine. Face position, huh? I can move his face up on his face. All right, what type of hair would Teddy Truman have? Chester, I think, just has like a like a mini afro. Yeah, like, Chester's hair looks very much like this. Very curly. But I don't want it to just be Chester. This is his own man. This is Teddy, you know? Oh, this is Chester's hair. The fro shag. This is Chester Truman right here. 
We're just making Chester Truman as a baseball player. Honestly, the ladies' hair in this game kind of goes hard. Oh, shit. Oh, full bald rip. All right, Teddy. What type of... Oh, I, I dig the headband twists. I like this. Headband twists for Teddy Truman. I'm here for that. No sideburns. Headgear color. Oh, you can change the headband color. That's cool. Well, I kind of want it to just follow whatever team we're on. Can we set that? Okay, we can only set those colors. So we'll, we can edit this once we find out what team we're on. But for now, we'll have it be white since it's very, very neutral. Um, I think that Teddy will have a little bit of facial hair. I think his brothers are clean shaven. So I think he gets to be the bearded brother. Ooh, this looks pretty good for Teddy. Big beard. You want him to just have like a full beard? Extended goatee. Scruffy. Full beard A. Full beard B. Full beard C. The milkman. Milkman? Is he a mustached man? Teddy Truman. It's not long enough. Can I make it? That's full length, huh? Wait, you can do that mustache and then add other stuff to it? Oh, we could do like a combo. What if we just do a goatee for my boy? I think he, he could rock a goatee. I feel like it'd look better just as a full beard, though. Ooh, this is a good look. The Euro. I like the separation of mustache. Mustache and goatee. Looks, wait, it looks racist? What do you mean? It looks racist if it's connected. Is that what you're saying? The white racist dudes have connected facial hair. Oh, interesting. Oh, my handlebar. Oh, this is the one you're talking about. Handlebar B. Chin strap. The dictator? The fuck? Straight beard. What does straight beard look like with like stubble length? So let's let's get rid of wait, X shape. Okay, hold on, hold on. Let, let's reset. Let's reset. Let's reset. So with facial hair, how do I set this to nothing? I bet it's on the first page. None. Okay. So let yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's reset. Let's reset. I don't think we need two facial hairstyles. He, I, he definitely, I feel like, looks better with the beard, though. Like, now that he's shaven, I'm like, damn, I wish he had a beard, you know? Like, he looks good with just, like, the full beard. The full B beard, I think. Okay, what one did I want to see? Straight beard with, like, stubble length. Oh, you can't change the length of that one. Okay, understood. Three-piece suit. This looks pretty good. Fade beard. This looks really good. This looks good. That's his look, 100%. Right? That just suits his face. Oh, the 5 o'clock looks nice, too. I like the fade beard a lot. Old time boxer, bro. King Tut. Goat curls. Strap fade. This looks really nice, too. 
I'm going to go with this, I think. The strap fade. Teddy Truman. Damn, you can pick up to four facial hairstyles? Bro, can we just talk about how Madden has nothing compared to this game? Like, oh my god. I can customize this guy to my heart's content. Like, we could give him a colored beard. Like, we can... You can do four different facial hairstyles. Like, this is just... So, it's so much better, the character creator in this game. What pitching archetype did you choose? Currently, I have chose I chose Velocity. Uh, I kind of am considering doing Break. Uh, but let me know. Is there is there one that's better? Is there one that you think would fit? Oh, here's Skin Tone. Okay. So, yeah, a little bit lighter because we're looking for... We want it to match Chester since this is meant to be Chester's youngest brother. This is Teddy Truman. Whoa, complexion changes a lot. Amount? Amount of of what? Amount of complexion? Oh, of freckles? Oh, we can give him freckles. I can't remember. Does, I think Chester had freckles, but I don't know. Madden doesn't seem like the type of game that would do freckles. I honestly just already love his look. I think this is I think that this is Teddy Truman in a nutshell. I don't think we need to do anything further with his looks. Now we get to pick the equipment. This is the fun stuff. Uniform. Ooh. I kind of love the turtleneck, but only when he's pitching. <laughs> I think absolutely we give him a necklace. Did you do a face scan? I did not. Um, I just tried to make him look as much like the Truman brothers from my Broncos franchise as possible. Cause we're just saying like the Truman family runs this YouTube channel now. So this is, uh, this is Teddy Truman. So we're just making a guy. I think he looks a decent bit like, uh, like his brother Chester. I want him to obviously be different enough. We want it to be a team color. I kind of want it to just be like silver. Jersey sleeve length. I think this is fine. Need a gold. Oh, see, I changed it to silver. You want it gold or do you want it silver? So I mean, I think silver looks nice. Pants. Do we do baggy pants? Stir no, not the stirrups. No. Low socks. Do we do high socks? Nah, he, nah, he kind of looks like a nerd. I think we just do normal long. All right, we okay. We only have one style of glove. This a lot of this stuff is gonna change because I have a lot of equipment because I bought the like deluxe version of the game. Um. So we're not, we're probably not going to do a ton with this. Can you, oh, you can randomize it. Oh, let's just spam random until we see something that looks cool. You going to make this into a regular video? I plan on it, yeah. It'll probably come out on like Saturday as an actual video. Speaking of which, anyone here who watches the Broncos franchise, um, the off-season live stream will be on Saturday. Just by the way. So if you're wanting to watch that, mark your calendar. It'll be here on Saturday. At probably the same ish time, if not slightly earlier. I'll schedule it though. Again, this isn't going to matter because I have equipment. So I don't know. We'll just go with this. I'm going to ignore this stuff mostly because I have equipment. So it's all it's all just going to change. Um, fielding gear. Yeah, let's go armbands on the non-throwing arm. It can be thin. It can be team default. Oh, and it can have his number. That's cool. No right armband. 
wristband on both can it be this is the thinnest it can be thin uh left wristband color we'll just leave we'll just leave him as team default you should make another superstar in madden i'm gonna be honest i'm super done with superstar mode in madden that game is irritating me to no end currently um so, so probably not unfortunately i'm not crazy about these wristbands I want to do sleeves like yeah here we go yeah double sleeves three quarters playing a cb is fun my issue with madden superstar mode is first and foremost it just does not have enough content at all like once you finish the combine you're you're like done with cutscenes for the most part. Like there's probably a cutscene when you hit 99 overall, but I don't know. And then it's just like, uh, like, uh, yeah, there's just no content with it. Like at least with 2K, there's a bunch of stuff you can do outside of playing your career. Like you can do, there's a whole like city basically that they created for you to run around in. And in MLB The Show, they've got a whole storyline with it, especially now that you can like you can make a female character in the game. And you have all this, cus uh, this custom creation stuff. Like, I don't know. Um, the Madden Superstar mode is just not even close to what it needs to be. And it's fun for like a season, but then it falls off an absolute cliff and it is just not fun anymore. Are you gonna play College Football 25? Yes, absolutely. I will be playing College Football 25. But like, so superstar mode for the first like year and a half when I had my Tyler Gibson series, which is still going. I don't know why I said when I had, it was super fun because Tyler sucked. <laughs> he was really bad and it was a grind to get good. But then when you get good enough, it just doesn't, it's just not fun anymore. And you have no control over sliders at all. So like you can play on all Madden, you can play on max difficulty, and that's as hard as it's gonna get. You cannot make it more difficult than that unless you handicap yourself by saying, I'm not gonna do certain things. And it's just really repetitive for me right now uh, because Tyler Gibson, it's just like, go out there, throw it to Jamison Williams for 300 yards, leave with a blowout victory, repeat. Um, so yeah, I don't know. The superstar, I would enjoy it more if there were more content to superstar mode, I guess is what I'm saying. Superstar mode, just not enough to it. Um, so I will not be starting another superstar mode and I'll be, I'm actually probably going to be stopping the Tyler Gibson series relatively soon. Uh, somebody in chat said, I hope this is on legend. I have it on the dynamic difficulty, but I can just put it on legend. Um, the way I like to play is uh, similar to how I like to play Madden, where it's sort of based on stats uh, more than it is based on like my play. So uh, Teddy here is going to suck on, if we're on Legend um, until we get his ratings up. So I might leave it on Dynamic until we get to the Majors and then increase it to like Legend or somewhere around there. And a QB and win six. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. I just don't enjoy it anymore, to be honest with you. But it is what it is. Are you into baseball? I used to be huge into baseball. Like, I loved baseball. It was my favorite sport for a long time. Um, and then I kind of stopped watching. Uh, I, I follow it very loosely still. I'm a Rockies fan. And the past, like, four, five years of being a Rock, basically ever since we traded Nolan Arenado, being a Rockies fan is just incredibly painful. Um, so I haven't watched very much at all in the last four or five years. So I'm, I'm very behind. Chester is definitely wearing sunglasses out in the field. You should do a face cam video. I have a webcam. I just don't use it. 
Well, I do use it for school stuff, but. Uh, frame color can be team color one and the lenses can be black. Cleats. Uh, like basically, like I said, none of this is going to matter because I have all of this equipment already. Yeah, the glasses were clear, they so they looked kind of stupid. <laughs> Where's this hat? Uh, is that under uniform? I want to change his hat. His hat looking kind of goofy. Is it under fielding? Am I dumb? Oh, hat and helmet. Here we go. I just didn't scroll down on helmet. Cap style. So... Semi flat or flat flat. The flat flat looks kind of dumb. Also, I hate these glasses. I think we go semi flat, low profile, and then where is glasses? Eyewear. Uh, yeah, these glasses look stupid. Maybe these ones? I don't know. They look like really small on his head. Maybe I changed my mind. Maybe he doesn't wear glasses. These ones aren't bad. Yeah, I think I changed my mind. I think he's just I think he just doesn't wear glasses. Um, so you can create a batting stance in this game, but there was one player that I really liked that I was messing around with. Was it this guy? Yeah. For some reason, Austin wins. I like this batting stance a lot and I was hitting pretty well with it when I was using it. So I'm gonna run this again. Oh, and then, oh, what's our pitching motion? So I'll say I get really impatient when I pitch. So I want a relatively fast motion. Their glasses for prescription. Gotta buy some. Um, so what? Who's who's got a good pitching style? Any recommendations? Grant Anderson. I don't like this kind of sidearm. I I prefer the over the top throwing motion. Tyler Anderson, former or maybe even current Rocky. I think former Rocky. Aaron Ashby. A little slow for my liking. I'm so ready to put the dog in me. No. Jose Barrios. Somebody name their favorite pitcher. What about Ubaldo Jimenez? Anyone remember him through a no hitter like super randomly? Is he Joe? No, he's not even in the game. Probably because probably he's not a current pitcher. Like, if we go former players, I bet he's here. Ubaldo. Ooh, Randy Johnson. Good. That's a good suggestion. Where are the J's? H I J. Nope, he's not even in here. Oh, there's Randy, though. Wow, that's kind of slow. As much as I love Randy Johnson, that is a slow pitching style. Generic players. We're spending entirely too much time on this because it just it probably just does not matter that much. What about you, Darvish? Ew, no, ew. I hate the like double. Nah, Degrom too slow. Shohei. What is Shohei's? N O P. J K L M Otani, there he is. Ooh, I actually do like Shohei Otani's windup a lot. It's so quick. His knee comes all the way to his chest. Madison, ooh, Madison Bumgarner. Okay, so Otani, 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 currently my number one option, I think. Uh, looks like we're gonna have to go to probably former players. 
Really? Bumgarner just not in the game, I guess. Pinpoint pitch timing follow the speed of your pitching stance and slash style. I believe so. Madison Beer Gardener. Wait, unless, unless, aha, I was just on the wrong page. Oh, I like that pitching style a lot too. Let's go with Madison. Why not? We can leave the running style alone. We're a default swing type of guy. All right, what ones do I have unlocked? I thought I had a couple of these unlocked. Can you only use them on like one player at a time? If so, that is so dumb. Whoa, who just did a 360 bat flip? That's kind of sick. All right, what's Teddy Truman doing for his bat flip? Oh, a little show offy. <laughs> Some of these are so funny. I like that one. Style 8, the bat kiss. That's pretty cool. Flip it around the back and give it a smooch. Is there even a number 69? No, it, it only goes up to style 37, unfortunately. Oh, it's like hot potato. Should be a switch hitter. I think he's a right-handed batter. I think I'm fine with that. I think I'm going to go with style eight. I like the bat kiss. Do I have any home run celebrations unlocked? I do. I have the limbo. Should we do a limbo when hitting a home run? Yeah, why not? Okay, I think that we're ready. Bang. It's Teddy Truman. Micah Davis is calling. Hey, Teddy, this is Micah Davis from the MLB Scouting Bureau, and I have some exciting news for you. Oh? Oh, we would like to invite you to this year's MLB Draft Combine. Absolutely, Micah. Thank you so much. Glad to hear it. It'll be a huge opportunity to show what you can do. Wait. Oh, that's him. That's Micah talking. I'm so dumb. Does being a two-way player mean he's bisexual? I mean, it can mean whatever you want it to mean, Ducky. <laughs> it means that he's a pitcher as well as a fielder and a batter. He plays two ways. MLB Draft Combine is coming up. It's always an exciting time. Dan, what can we expect? What are you going to be looking for? Well, Robert, for me, this is one of the most important events on the baseball calendar each and every year. If you look at it, all I know is that the, the Angels are making it deep into the playoffs. They have on the players, and then all the best players in the country get to showcase their skills in front of 30 clubs. So I mean, I'm just really excited to see what's going to happen. Sarah Should I go to the Angels? I could pick my team, but I kind of want it to be random. Metrics can players and viewers expect to see? I mean, there's so much data with this event. Part of why I love it so much, and I've been there every time this has been held. So glad we're back again. For pitchers, you got pitch velocity, you got spin rate, you got extension. For hitters, we have your exit velocity, launching, and of course the distance on those home runs. Well, congratulations and good luck to all the young athletes as they continue their journey to hopefully one day land in the big. I have games. no idea, Ducky. Four day event, ten prospects. Sorry, I'm gonna. I need to plug my headphones into my uh, monitor.
are you liking being a starting pitcher? I always get so bored of just being a pitcher, so I'm really glad that they added two-way players as a thing a few years ago. Because um, it just makes it more interesting. I don't mind being a pitcher once in a while, uh, but I really... Batting is obviously what I enjoy the most. So it's the best of both worlds. It really is. Oh, somebody followed Doomsday. Thank you so much for the follow. Sorry, I didn't have my headphones. I did not have my headphones on. I did not hear the alert go off. L streamer, my bad. But thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. By the way, anyone who's here in YouTube, I am live on Twitch as as well. Um, Twitch.tv forward slash forward slash lag if you want to hang out there. Also, here we go. These are warm up pitches. So if I'm not hitting like all of them, I'm an idiot. And it's just about putting them into play. I don't have to be crazy. It's just putting them in play. She has ALS. Isn't isn't that Lou Gehrig's disease as well? Isn't that what it's called? Oh my God! Is that gone? Is that a foul? That's gone. Yep, gone. Absolutely clapped that one. Oh, but I, dude, Arizona has that huge wall in center. Like I mentioned, chat, I play so that like the ratings mean something, which is why I don't use the, um, the PCI. I prefer to just let the ratings do the talking. So that is why I just use directional and just go based on timing. Which means that until he gets higher plate vision, he's going to suck. Oh, that was a very early swing. I like it so far. I'm still in triple A, but I think it'll be more fun once I'm called up. Yeah, no. The, obviously, the grind is getting all the way to the majors. I've put everything in play so far, so this is excellent. That was a, that's just a fly out to center. My grade is an A, though, so that's good. Also to dead center. What team did you go to, uh, Darian? Bang. Well, I will take that. An A is a good grade in my book and in most people's books. Is hitting easier with no PCI? I think it depends on who you are. Um, a lot of people really like the PCI and find it easier to hit things. Um, I personally struggle to focus on whether the ball is in the zone or not, as well as moving my PCI. Um, so I personally prefer to not have it. Uh, I And it, it goes hand in hand with the fact that I like to let the ratings do the talking more so than me being good with a PCI, you know? So it, it, I think it's going to depend on who you ask. For outfield drills, we're putting you all in center field. You'll get this some ground. Okay, some ground with some fly balls. And then throw to third, which I think is square, which I think I want to flip. I want to flip those controls around if I can. Yeah, it is, it is square. Oh, this is new. Oh, wait, did I get that off? I did. Okay, cool. Okay, that was new. I, I was not used to that. Normally, it's just press right trigger. Um, let's control. Defense throwing interface. Player lock throwing interface. Analog. Do, do, do. Okay, no, I like the showtime. I think that's kind of cool. Um, mapping. Here we go. Fielder. So square is first and circle is third. That's what I'm used to playing in the field. So we'll do that. So now circle will be third. So don't let me forget. Don't let me immediately press square. And then it's going to be this weird showtime throwing thing again. God, it's fast, too. You don't have a lot of time to think about it. That's kind of cool, though. 
It's definitely much more challenging than just the little target to hit right trigger on. That was way too easy. Although it's a little fast, so... If I'm not on my A game, I'm gonna miss it, which I'm never on my A game, let's be honest. Triangle, triangle, X, triangle, circle. God, I'm cutting it close! Still throwing to third. Looks like this one will be a grounder because the runner's at first. Yeah, it's a grounder. Oh, this is just uh this is just one of the aim ones. That guy's way out. Actually, that tag was super late. Was he out? I don't know. Attempt number two of the grounders. Oh, this one, this one's going to be a little closer. Oh, I was not ready. You had me do aim before and now it's the, wow, he's way out. And now it's the buttons. Pick a lane. It's got to be one or the other. Oh, now we're throwing home. We do not have a big arm, I would assume. Although that doesn't really make sense, does it? It feels like we should have a big arm. The fact that we're a pitcher that throws absolute gas. Bang. So free. We're killing it right now. Both grades so far have been an A. So, not too shabby. Throwing home again. Did I mess it up? Maybe a little bit, but it was still accurate enough. Throwing home again. This one will be a grounder because there's the guy on second. Absolute launch. Oh, I think we got him. There's no ump to tell us if we got him or not, but I think we got him. For your bullpen session on the mound, we'll be evaluating your velocity command and the movement of your pitches. I didn't get to pick my pitches yet. That kind of sucks. Don't try to do too much. We want to see how hard you throw, but most importantly, try to hit your spots. Okay, I got to change a setting here because I was messing around with settings for my Rockies franchise. And it's through. Oh, yeah, no, he has a noodle of an arm currently. 100%. Pitching interface. Okay, I, I personally prefer the meter. You guys can try to talk me into the... Uh, what is it, what is the the newer one called that's been out for a few years now? Pinpoint. You guys can try to talk me into the pinpoint if that's what you think is better. I'm just I'm just a meter boy at heart, you know. Boom! What? That was in the yellow. I don't care who you are. Bang! Oh, that was early. It's fine. What? Dude, our... Okay, we, we're not the most accurate of pitchers at the moment. Our control is not the best. Those of you that use the pinpoint pitching, thoughts on it versus the meter. What are, what are your feelings? You like the pinpoint? Oh my goodness. That was horrendous. Try again. We're down to a grade C. Oh no. We might be the worst pitcher here. Oh my god. This is going terribly. Why are we throwing a high slider? Okay, we're back. We're, we're so back. Oh, we're so back? That wasn't great, to be honest. Quite a clinic you put on today, Teddy. Wow. Keep showing us what you can do in these games coming up in the next few days, and you'll put yourself in a great spot for the draft. Who knows? You might even earn an invite to be at the draft in person. Wow. Oh, the Rockies are interested, bro. The Rockies? It, let's not go there to kill our career. The Rockies where careers go to die? F 
59 overall, by the way. We suck. Okay, so can't you make multiple play styles? It's like it gives you more control over the pitch. That's valid. So, okay, but we currently we only have Cheesy Slugger, which sucks. But it is what it is. So, I mean, let's just delete uh, this one. Load. Okay, I have to load default before I delete play style. And then let's equip our perks, shall we? So we have a few things. It looks like I did keep my stuff from my, my pack openings from my other road to the show, lad. Um, increase pitch velocity and break while your energy is below 50%. I hope you're playing on Legend. Everyone on YouTube just does the easiest difficulty and it's not fun to watch at all. Uh, currently, I have it on the dynamic difficulty. I, it ends up getting up to Legend most of the time. Um, I mean, I'm down to play on Legend. How do increase pitch accuracy while losing with runners on base? That seems stupid. Let's just go velocity one. Throw with a little more heat. And then, yeah, maybe just power two. I hope I can get another skill set soon so I can run different ones depending on when I'm pitching and when I'm hitting. Um, okay, here's here's our pitches. So, four seam is fine. That can be the primary. Instead of a slider, I want a sweeper. If I may. Yeah, the sweeping curve, which is just a slider sweeper. And then maybe a 12-6 curve as well. And then do we want a change up or like a circle change or maybe like a Vulcan change? How fast is a regular change up? 84. And it has, yeah, so it's slower. Circle change has more lateral movement. And then the Vulcan change has more downward movement. So we've got the, yeah, I think we'd want downward, right? Because we have a sweeper that goes heavy to the side. We've got a 12 6 that goes down. We've got. Uh, fastball, which it's not a rising fastball, but that's how a fastball looks. It almost looks like it rises. And then you can, you've can you got a Vulcan, which drops. I think that makes sense. And then should we have another pitch? Maybe like another fastball type? Maybe like a sinker? Maybe like a two-seamer? Oh, I'm a big fan of the cutter, actually. A cut fastball, but it's kind of the same speed as a four-seamer. Maybe a split fastball? It almost seems like I'm more of a control pitcher than I am a speed pitcher. Um, let's go cutter. Another sideways pitch. But we're probably going to be mostly a fastball, Vulcan change, and sweeper type of guy. That's going to be us for the most part. And then I have a ton of equipment. Um, so we can equip these. I wish you could not have it look like this. Like, I wish I didn't have to rock a bat that literally says MLB The Show 24 on it. Got batting gloves. I've got fielding glove. I've got some cleats. I don't have a catcher mask. None of this really matters. I'm just going to equip them anyway. What up, Sketting? Welcome in. Elbow guard. Guard. Wrist guard. Uh, compression sleeve. We don't have a bat grip yet. We do have eyewear. Ooh, that eyewear looks sick, actually. Uh, we do have a ritual item. We do not have socks yet. I could get some.
Oh, I think I think we're ready. We're a 60 overall now with these changes, with those additions. So we didn't go up a ton, to be honest with you, but better than nothing. Um, and you know what? Screw it. I have it on dynamic, which I think it's currently on like veteran plus or something. Let's go legend and see how it goes. I feel like I'm going to hate myself. Can I make you a deal? Can we go dynamic until I hit the majors and then I'll go on legend permanently? Or do you just want it on legend the whole way? Can I put it on legend and then put it on dynamic so that it can go down as needed maybe? I wish I could set the difficulty for dynamic. So that way I didn't have to work my way up. Because I really like dynamic. It's so cool. But you're right. It is super, super easy. I'm going to do... Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do dynamic for the... Uh, since this is like the combine or whatever. And then we can bump it up once I'm actually on a team. I think that makes sense. Cheese the combine. Get the best draft available. Best draft position available. Let's go. Combine. Draft combine. Four day event. 100 prospects. 30 MLB teams. Game one. Do you think we're pitching or hitting in this? I guess we'll see. Well, we're not pitching because that's not us. Jason Small. Bro is small. Here we go. Teddy Truman's first at bat. Yeah, see, it's on veteran for dynamic currently, but we'll up it. Ball one. He's got the best eye in all of sports. If you guys are just joining in stream, Teddy Truman, the little brother of Chester and Daniel Truman from my Denver Broncos franchise, decided to go with baseball instead of football like his two older brothers and has just grounded into a force out at second. He is a right fielder because presumably he'll have a big arm as a pitcher, although I know that's not actually true. And we'll throw this one to second as it falls down. I could have I could have dove, but I don't want to make myself look stupid. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to be playing something that isn't Madden. Genuinely the best. Oh, this guy's running on me? Bang. You're gone. Later. Out. You remind me of times I had with my father. What? How? how? That guy's gone, by the way. Just absolutely gunned down in broad daylight. We're back up to bat. Oh, that one's a gapper. Actually, that might not get down at all. Okay, it did. And it's going to get that guy to third. Hopefully, he is super slow, but he got there. Okay, so we got a runners on first and third. And I think I have this set to skip us running. Yeah, I do, because we're slow. So there's no point in watching our boy Teddy Truman run the bases. But it is 4-0 for our team. The red prospects, if you will. Okay, I'm an idiot. 4-4. Four, four. You want me to throw 4? Oh, I pressed the wrong button. Oopsie. I'm white in real life, but this is... This is Teddy Truman, who is just like a character inside of this like universe I've created. With the Truman brothers from Madden. Oh my god, I almost swung at that. Two balls, no strike. Hey, get your pitch up there. Ball three. Three, 
and O for Teddy. Oh, that was such a weak hit, I feel like. Yeah, center fielder just gets right underneath that, and Teddy is gone. But yeah, the reason I made Teddy Truman is because I thought it'd be fun to just continue the Truman family on my YouTube channel that started to dominate my YouTube channel. Appreciate you, MTP. Thank you for the support. Nope, that's a ball. What year are you in college? Uh, in real life, in college, I'm in my second year. Okay, I won one immediately. When's the FIFA stream? It's getting thank you for 30 month resub, by the way. Uh, never. I'm not. I'm not a soccer football fan. I, it's just not. I don't know. It's never been my cup of tea. I don't know why. It just doesn't. It just doesn't scratch that sports itch. Seems like every other sport under the sun does, though, for some reason. Actually, that's just not true, is it? Showtime activated? Oh, goodness. Oh, oh, okay. Sorry, I'm learning how things work. I'm missing this for sure. Wait, I, oh, I did miss it. I knew it. Throw the ball, Teddy. Golly. The goat of YouTube. Thank you. I appreciate it. I try my best, but... I should have just thrown this to third, but it's whatever. Oops. I was not paying attention. You guys are distracting me in chat, and Teddy is suffering for it. Okay, a few more teams are interested. Wow, that was already game one done, huh? That went by fast. I feel like we did not show up very well. Next game, I'm absolutely locking in. I wonder if I get to play a game as a pitcher, though, in the combine here. When you hit one mil, I want some sugar for being one of the first 2K subs. I'll try my best to remember. That requires me hitting a mil, though, which is a stretch. When you consider that, like, the biggest uh, sort of franchise YouTubers, like Bangle, don't even have a mil. And I will say Bangle, I think, absolutely deserves a mill. He's one of my favorite YouTubers. I got drafted in the seventh. When I did, like, a test road to the show, I got drafted in either the sixth or the seventh as well. And, yeah, I think you always start in double A. I don't know, I don't know if you can start in, like, triple A or the majors. Okay, we do get to play as a starting pitcher. Catcher wants a Vulcan change. We'll give him a Vulcan change. Oh my god, we left that up in the zone. Holy cow. Catcher wants a 12-6 curve. Catcher gets a 12-6 curve. Oh my god, Teddy, please. Stop hanging these slow pitches. Alright, we go to the fastball. And again, it's just... They're not placed very well. We're like the least accurate pitcher that there is. All right, let's see. Let's see if this sweeper's nasty. Do we have a nasty sweeper? Ooh, that was kind of nasty, actually. That was a good pitch. And it gets him out at first. Steven Tejeda is the next victim for Teddy Truman. And wow, that was a good accuracy, and it still was not great. All right, he wants a 12-6 curve. I'll give him a 12-6 curve. Let's put some juice on it. Oh, nice pitch, Teddy. I didn't see what he asked for. I'm going cutter, high and inside. Let's see if he bites. Ooh, I feel like that wasn't a bad pitch. Change the eye level. He wants a Vulcan change the outside. I can, I can oblige. That's a terrible pitch. That's on me. My timing was horrendous. All right, we go back. We go back to the fastball high and inside. We've changed the eye level a bunch, and he swung at that. I cannot believe he swung at that. Strike out for Teddy.
wonder how long you play in this prospect thing. Now we're to the second. Teddy's still in. That is going to be a fly out, it looks like, to right field. How long does it take to get to the majors? Typically, you have to do like a full season of double A, and then you'll be called up for like spring training of majors for the following season. And then sometimes you have to play even a little bit more of triple A, but I would say usually, oh, I forgot the pitch clock was a thing now. I thought I could just talk forever. Um, usually it takes about a, a year of play, if not a little bit more. Uh, but I think it probably heavily depends on your overall. Can I see a pitch clock anywhere? Because I just got a pitch clock violation. I can't actually see a pitch clock. Which is not ideal as the pitcher getting called for pitch clock violations. All right, he wants a heater inside. I agree. Bang. That was a pretty good pitch. He fouls it off. Quentin Overstreet. That's a fun name. Oh, we're going sweeper. Low and outside. Watch this. Bang. Oh, how does he not swing at that? You're telling me you don't swing at that on two strikes? That pitch was gross. Oh, and that's way inside. A walk. Dang. I can't believe he doesn't swing at that sweeper, the pitch before. All right, he's not... I'm going to steal. He has 25 steal. We don't really have to worry about the base runner. But I will say, I kind of want to learn. Um, how do I, do I... Can I look at him? I don't know how to look at him. There's got to be some button to look at the runner. It... I have no idea. Oh, okay. I saw L2 pick off. But I thought it would look at him. Does it not look at him? Maybe I have to wait for him to be set. And then I can... Ah! Okay, I see. Up the middle. Double play. Double play ball. Bang. Oh, that guy was kind of fast, too. Double play for Teddy Truman. Okay, so this dynamic difficulty is already going up very quickly because we're kind of owning. So I can definitely see why you want this on high difficulty. This is very easy at the moment. When it's my birthday, can I get some birthday sugar? Uh, what exactly do you mean by sugar? And when is your birthday? We're going to go Vulcan change for pitch number two. Just late and he doesn't swing. 2-1 count. Do I have it on quick counts? I swear. On our little bar isn't big anymore. 3-1. This isn't good. All right, Teddy. Let's lock in, buddy. This is a strike right here. Bang. Okay. Fouls it off. Full count. Can Teddy get the strike out or a ground out? Really any type of out. I'll take it. That is right down the middle. That is a base hit. For David Sung. David Cruz up to the plate. 0-1 count. Runner on first. And, ooh, that's nearly into the gap. Just weak enough to get to the center fielder. So, not looking great at the moment. We've got two on with no outs to start the third here for Teddy Truman. Kind of not in a great place. But the scouts are going to be watching intently. They're going to be curious if, if Teddy can get himself out of a situation like this. Oh, man, his Vulcan is just not working currently. So we go a high inside fastball. That was a great pitch. Up to 97 as well from Teddy. He wants the cutter. I can do that. Let's start inside and try to hit the corner. Nope. Just the control not quite there for Teddy. It's a 2-2 count. He wants the Vulcan change. But the Vulcan just hasn't been working. I'm going to go sweeper. Oh, my God. We left that way up. But it strikes out Michael Chappell or Chapel. Glenn McGrath is up to bat. 
Now with one out, looking for a double play ball, not it. Can we prevent the run from scoring? Runner on his way to the plate, throw not in time, and that is an earned run for Teddy Truman here in this uh, little combine game number two. So we'll go Vulcan change again. That was the double play ball I was looking for, but it was still hit to a good spot. Well, another earned run for Mr. Truman. Did you ever watch regular show? I did not, so I'm I'm not familiar, unfortunately. Okay, there's the Vulcan getting going. 1-1 one, one count. Let's just get out of this with no more runs. Huh? You gave up two. Giving up two is, like, it's a respectable amount of runs to give up in an outing. Golly, Teddy. So if I don't absolutely nail the accuracy, the pitch is just going to be nowhere close to where I want it. Oh, Lord. That one's getting down as well. So there goes another run for this blue prospects team. And Teddy is struggling. He cannot get a second out. Everything's getting hit. And I don't feel like that was a horrendous pitch. It wasn't. It definitely wasn't bad. All right. There's a strike. We're just going to stick with the fastball. It's the only one he seems to have any control over. So we'll stick with it. I'm going to try the cut fastball. But I don't have high hopes. That is a phenomenal pitch from Teddy Truman. He's locked in. He's back. We're so back. Yeah, no, the control is horrendous. Oh, my God. He just, like, I'm swinging at that all day if I'm quitting over street. But he doesn't. So, Teddy gets away with a hanging curveball. Fastball basically right down the middle is swung through. And now we give him the old sweeping curveball. And he swings and he misses. So Teddy gives up three runs in the inning, but I think his three outs were strikeouts. So very volatile performance from Teddy Truman. Still in the game. It's 3-3. You know, one thing that's kind of dumb when you play as two-way players, and maybe it's just during the combine. How is that not a strike, by the way? Um, sugar like a hug. Well, it's probably going to be a little difficult to arrange a hug. <laughs> um, but it, it's kind of dumb that you can't play as a pitcher and be the DH at the same time. Like, doesn't Otani do that, like, all of the time, every time he pitches? Or does he take the day off when he pitches? Does he take the day off as a hitter? Ooh, okay. That's a, definitely a makeup call from the ump. But we'll take it. I mean, it did touch the corner, so. All right, we're back to the big bar. But we're late on the pitch still. Yikes. I suck. 2-0 count. Okay, that's a good pitch. We're going to the Vulcan, which I just do not trust from Teddy. At, oh, my God. Run, Teddy. He's out. It was a tie. Come on, big guy. See you See you Wants us to start with the sweeper. Oh, boy. Okay. That was not quite where I wanted it. You don't really... I feel like you don't ever want the sweeper to end up in the zone. You want them to chase it out. That's a foul ball from David Cruz. And now, can Teddy get the strike out? Bang! No. We're going high and inside with the fastball. Stri what? Oh, come on, man. Give me that call, ump. What are you doing, buddy? All right, we're going Vulcan change. He swings at that. Appreciate that, batter. Thank you very much. Teddy's still in. It is now 6-3. to three. His team got him the lead back in the fifth. I didn't look at my stamina, so I want to see how that's doing. Okay, it's a little... It's like 33% energy, which is not bad, considering it's the fifth. 
So despite giving up three runs, I think in the third, this has actually been a relatively good outing for Teddy Truman. He's had a lot of strikeouts. And there's another one, just as I say it. All right, so Glenn has gotten a hit on us already. Let's see if we can strike him out this time. Good pitch, Teddy. 96 MPH to the outside pocket. Now we're going top right. Bang! The ump's been calling those all day. We're going to go exact same spot. He can't hit us. Top right. Gone. Later, another strikeout for Teddy Truman. There's eight strikeouts for the youngest Truman brother. That is the hangingest of hanging curveballs I've ever seen. We're going inside heat again. High and inside. That's that's where you go with the fastball. 96. Pretty good pitch. Not exactly where I wanted it. I kind of want to go to the sweeper to see if I can get him to chase and then strike out. Oh, my God. Left that way up in the zone. Because my timing was bad. And that's a base hit. Almost killed Teddy, but it went over his head instead of into his head. Well, runner on now. And that's another one right up the middle. But it stopped. I don't think we're getting an out here. Yeah, it was close, but not quite. Uh-oh, Teddy. We got to get you out of this situation again. Oh, my God, Teddy. Teddy. Okay, so if Teddy misses a pitch, it is going to be right down the middle. There's another earned run for, for Mr. Truman. Somehow his like confidence is still quite high. Man, I'm not good at the timing when it's the... Uh, what do they call the pitch when you're not in your full motion? I'm not good at that timing, whatever it is. We're in like the half motion, whatever you call that. And my timing is terrible. Oh, my God. 3-1 count. I might walk this. It wants me to go to the sweeper. On a 3-1 is an interesting decision. Okay, my, the catcher's hyping me up. Now I'm feeling good. We're going cut fastball. Bang. Perfect pitch, Teddy. Struck him out. He's gone. Ninth strikeout, I think, for Teddy. And we go to the sixth if they're keeping us in after giving up four runs. It's not the worst performance. Kept the lead at the very least. Oh, they do bring in Ted Kennedy. They replaced Teddy with Ted. No. Why is he wearing number 30? He was wearing our number. Did you see that? He was also wearing number 30. What's up with that? We, we did win. Does that count as a win for Teddy? I don't know if it does. But projected round 11. Yikes. That wasn't the best from Mr. Teddy Truman. Notice that whenever runners are on base in MLB 24, it gets more difficult to time the pitches. Yeah, for sure. For sure. We have a new uh, pack to open, a perk pack. What perk do we get? Do we get to pick one of these? Oh, no, we get all of them. Increases break. Yeah, I think I might throw on this control three instead of velocity. Let's, yeah, let's go control three. It gives us, what, a plus two, a plus one, and a plus two. Is that another one? These are hard to read. Plus two, plus one, plus one. Yeah. We're going to go control. I don't think it's going to help that much, but... Final game of the combine. I'm guessing... Well, we're definitely not pitching again the day after, so we're definitely at the plate. I wonder if we're in the field, though, or if we're a DH. All right, Teddy, up to bat. Final day of the draft combine, and then we'll see what team he ends up on. I'm swinging at the first pitch, and it was a little low, but it was technically in the strike zone. 0-1, Mike Asensio is the pitcher here. That's a ball. Change up low and inside. Right 
Oh, my, that has to be gone. Kiss the bat, Teddy. Wait, it's a no doubter he didn't kiss the bat. Oh, that's, I picked that animation, but an absolute bomb from Teddy Truman. A grand slam, in fact. I did not realize that the bases were juiced. Teddy Truman, four RBIs on one swing. Absolute bomb to left field. First homer in the Teddy Truman road to the show comes in the draft combine day number three. Look at this. Bang. 403, 106 exit velocity pretty fast. That was a that was a bomb. An absolute bomb. Double decker, actually. Second deck. Teddy now out in the field. The guy on second is pretty fast. He has 80 speed. So we're probably not throwing him out at home. Although we're gonna try. Square, 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 triangle, circle. I think we got him. We did a throw out for Teddy Truman having himself a day here in the final game of the draft combine. He does not have a big arm. He had to absolutely lay out for that, and it barely beat the guy with 80 speed, but we'll get there. Can Teddy hit another homer? Or really, oof, just get on base again. I was a little early there. That was a good one to hit, though. A little low and inside, though. Not the best. Second pitch of the at-bat is inside. Teddy will take. And the third pitch. Another one inside. It's now 2-1 for Theodore Truman. Theodore Teddy Truman. 2-1. He gives us one to hit. We take it the other way. I was well late on that. But it's a base hit nonetheless. Teddy to first. And we will skip the base running because Teddy is very slow. So there's no point in watching. He's not going to steal anything. Two for two. A single and a home run. Maybe looking for the cycle here. We are up seven to one. My goodness. That is low and inside. Mostly just inside, actually. Runner on first with one out. 1-0 oh for Teddy. Here comes the pitch. That one was an absolute meatball, and I was late on it. And it's going to be caught by the center fielder. That should have been gone as well. That was a meatball and a half. That should have been another home run. Teddy gets under it too much, flies it to center. And the first out recorded for Teddy. Back in the field once again. wonder what team we'll go to as a two-way player outfielder combo. And wow, are we, I don't know if Teddy's getting to that. He's kind of slow. Nope, he's not. And it's good for a double. That was my bad. My reaction sucked. And Teddy's kind of slow. So now it's seven to four. New pitcher for Teddy. That's a good pitch. Strike one. Oh my god, another absolute meatball. But I think, yeah, not enough under it from Teddy. Should have been probably even a third home run for Teddy Truman. Got under it too much. Flies out. Teddy out in the field now. Once again, one two count here. As Alan Gatlin hits one, and we're throwing to third. There is no way that runner is actually running to third on this. No way. He's out by an absolute mile. I mean, a toddler could have thrown that guy out. But this toddler, his name's Teddy Truman. And he's got a bigger arm than a regular toddler. Up to the plate for what is likely the final time during the draft combine. Oh my god, another meatball! I had good timing, but I think it's going to fly out again. And it does. We advance the runner to third, though. Oh, dude. There was some serious potential here. I got so many meatballs. And Teddy just getting under them a little too much. Not showing off the power like he did on the first home run. But not bad. It's 11-5 and we get one more fielding appearance here in the bottom of the ninth. But unless there's some huge rally from this Navy team, I think we are headed to the draft. And we'll see where Teddy goes. As this should just be a catch. 
Oh, I should have just thrown it to third. I did not expect that guy to run. I don't think we're getting that throw from Teddy, to be honest, though. Does not quite have that big of an arm. 11-5 is the final, and now a good chunk of the teams are interested in us, but not as many as I would have liked, actually. What is that? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. So exactly half of the teams in the MLB are interested in Teddy Truman. But, I, you know, I think that they should all be interested, if I'm being honest. Here we go. MLB draft time. Let's see what our Stephanie Saunders, our agent. Hey, Teddy, how is my favorite client? Bit disappointed after. I feel like your combine performance was great. You gave like good innings. You hit a home run like you weren't bad. I don't think you're you perform quite up to your potential. at the. Really? I thought he was fine. I thought I thought we did fine. I'm hearing we should expect you to be drafted somewhere between around 16 and 14. Let's see what happens. I mean, Chester Truman was drafted in the fifth round of the NFL draft, which is a very late pick in the NFL, and ended up being the best wide receiver in the NFL. So, here we go. Where is Teddy Truman? Being drafted to be the next Shohei Otani. With the eighth pick of the eighth round, the Toddler Truman, indeed. Bro is, does, is not drippy. That polo is not... Yeah, that's not great. Even the Mets? Okay. Um, I'm a little scared of that. The Mets have been bad for a long time. But Teddy Truman, headed to New York, is a New York Met. While his brothers are playing in Denver, he is in New York in the Big Another Apple. Another player that we saw at the MLB Draft Combine, off the board in the middle rounds of this year's draft. What's the reaction here to this pick, starting with you, Sarah? Well, this player is a pretty good combine, but not the absolute best we've ever seen. I think there were some questions, but there's a lot of metrics that show there will be upside here. So. I'm very excited to see how this player progresses through the minors. Yeah, I agree with Sarah completely, Robert. Uh, there are some question marks, but I do see upside. What I also see is a really good floor for this individual player. And, you know, guys with good floors sometimes end up being some of the better players that come out of the draft. Well, there you have it. Teddy Truman, the youngest Truman brother is a New York Met. Hey, Teddy, congrats on being drafted by the Mets. I couldn't be happier for you. How do you feel about being the newest member of the Mets franchise? You want to be the greatest Mets player of all time. I'm grateful to be drafted by the Mets organization, but I'm not happy I was drafted as late as I was. Let's say we're going to be the best Mets player of all time. Teddy's a confident guy. How are you feeling about your draft position? It's, it's fine. We don't... I mean, we're in the show right like sure we're not in the mlb yet but we're we're on our way so it's fine who cares i've talked to the organization and they told me you will be starting at the double a level with the binghamton rumble ponies no way we're a member of the rumble ponies one of the best names in all of sports keep doing what you sorry keep doing what you do to stay at the top of your game mentally and physically then you'll be good to go when you report to Binghamton in April. How do you how do you say this? Is it Binghamton? Binghamton, probably. The Rumble Ponies, bro. Imagine somebody asking you what you do for work and you have to tell them, oh yeah, I play for the Rumble Ponies of the double A affiliate of the New York Mets. Teddy Truman, let me officially welcome you to the Rumble Ponies. <laughs> Ready to put some serious work in? Heck yeah, I am. Good, glad to hear it. In the minors, you get what you put in, work hard, don't give me any problems, and you'll be fine. You got it, Skip. 
on one second chat i'm going to change the title of the stream i think Great meeting you. We're glad to have you here. Hope you're ready to get to work. I am Skip. What is his name? Giancarlo Vaccaro. That is a fantastic name. Giancarlo Vaccaro? Is that a real dude? Here we are, chat. We are officially a two-way player for the Rumble Ponies. And we've got another pack to open. Telekinesis. Well, really nothing to do at the moment other than continue. We have the cheesy slugger skill set, which I don't think we have a different one at the moment. So it's the only thing we can do. I much prefer when I can do two different skill sets, one for a pitcher and one for a hitter but it is what it is it's a combo one at the moment i think we'll get there eventually but let's get started i mean let's play our first few games here as teddy truman against the fisher cats as the rumble ponies teddy truman the next big thing in the mets franchise so he is batting third and I wonder where he is in the starting rotation. Obviously, he's not the ace, it looks like. But he's he is a starting pitcher. I don't know if they'll have him coming out of the bullpen. It is raining here at the porch. The Binghamton Rumble Ponies versus the New Hampshire Fisher Cats. Bro, double A affiliate baseball teams have the best names. It's so good. Here he is, Teddy Truman, first at bat as a true professional baseball player. Up against Schultz. That one outside and below. Ball one. And the second pitch. He's running. That was a very low pitch. And a high throw means that the runner is safe at second. It's also a 2 0 count for Teddy. Only has 49 vision, but 77 power against right-handed pitchers. Ooh, I was a little early. In fact, that was really early. 2-1 after the missed opportunity there. And Teddy hit an absolute bomb. Will he get a chance? That's high. I almost swung at it. I, I'm terrible at swinging at high pitches. I'm generally pretty patient, except for high pitches. You're going to see me swing at high stuff all the time. 3-1. That's Yeah, that's out of here. First on-base appearance for Teddy Truman is walked. We fast forward because we don't watch him run the bases. And now it's bases loaded in the bottom of the second with two outs. So we need a base hit from Teddy. Oh, my God. That was the chance, man. Why am I so early? Oh, wait. I did say I was going to up the difficulty. For, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go to Hall of Fame and see how that works. But we are now on Hall of Fame difficulty for Teddy Truman. Ooh, I could have left that one alone. Probably would have been a ball. So an 0-2 count. He's in the hole. And that's way outside. Not even close. The one-two pitch. Again, not close. Inside, it is now 2-2. Two, two. Teddy working his way back in this at bat. Was down 0-2, has it back to 2-2. Two, two. That was inside, but I panic swung, so my bad. Should be 3-2. Instead, it is still 2-2. Two, two. That one, I didn't want to swing at that either, but I'm glad I did. 
Still 2-2. Two, two. Teddy fighting. This has been a decent at-bat. I mean, obviously, we'd love points here. That's low. Oh, my God. I don't feel good about not swinging at that. That call could have gone the other way very easily. Now the payoff pitch. Teddy's staying strong. He's in this. What is this? Like the eighth pitch of the at-bat, probably? Here it comes. Again, fouled off by Teddy. Still very early. This guy... His fastball is slow. Still 3-2. Another foul ball for Teddy. My goodness. Another pitch on its way. From Schultz. He left that one up, but it's not going to get down. Dang it. Gave us a good one to hit. It was a good at bat from Teddy. Made it go a while, but it does not fall in. So no RBIs for Theodore. New pitcher, R. Boyer. I don't know who this is. We're up by one. Two to one. Bottom of the fifth. That is... Oh, that's so terrible. Popped that one way up. Shortstop has to go into center, left center, to catch that one. But it is an out for Teddy Truman. Still no hits. Another at bat. Strike one. Dang it. So Teddy 0 for 2 with a walk today, and that's it. Bottom of the sixth. Two on, two out, up 2 1 still. Ooh, swung through that one. I think it was very early. That was way too early. Splitter caught me off guard. I need to be a little bit more patient on my swings. And when I say a little bit more patient, I mean I should have been completely patient and just not swung at all on that one. Teddy out in the field. He's not going to catch this one. Bang. Oh, that runner's way out. Way out by an absolute mile. Nobody's running on Teddy Truman, bro. Look at him nodding. He's proud of himself, as he should be. Still out in the field with Teddy. Uh, oh, no. How do you jump? I think it's R1. I think it's R1. Oh! Is, is that in play? No, it's gone. It was R1, but he didn't even bother to climb the wall. Th do I have to, like, time it? So that he'll... Like, do I have to be running up so that he'll climb the wall? He just did a little lazy jump. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> it's fine. Home run, we're now losing. All right, Teddy. Oh, dude, a home run here would be absolutely massive. Oh, he gave me the pitch for the home run, too. A hanging slider, I mean, way high on that slider. Ooh, okay, that slider was much better. I, thought, I was looking for a fastball, I'll be honest. O2, don't swing. It's ball one. I can't tell you guys how excited I am to do my Rockies franchise. That should be coming soon. I, I, dude, I literally didn't want to swing. I literally didn't want to, and I pressed it anyway. It's like my mind and my body disagreed. Oh my god, I suck. On the field again. Apparently our reaction was bad. Oh, Teddy! Come on, bud. You gotta be catching those. Teddy Truman might be the worst player in baseball history at the moment. Went 0 for 4 with a walk, I think, that game. Yeah, 0 for 4, a strikeout in the first. I think walked in the second. Wait, he didn't strike out in the first. He struck out in the second. He walked in the first. The second is when the bases were loaded. And that wasn't even a strikeout. That was a fly out to center. Right? Wasn't that just wrong? I think that was just wrong. Anyway. 
Game number two of this series. Teddy look, still looking for his first hit. Has not gotten a hit. Has gotten on base once. And has struck out twice. So has a walk, no hits, and two strikeouts. Kind of a terrible stat line in your first career game. Because that one's just late. Is now 1-1. One, one. That one is inside. It is now 2-1. Frozzy is the pitcher. At least I think that's his name. Oh, oh, that one had a nice little crack to it. It's short, though. It's just inside of the warning track and is caught by the right fielder. No hit, no home run, no nothing for Teddy. All right, Teddy, come on. Let's get. Let's just get something in play, buddy. Like, even if you can't beat out, like, a throw... Let's, like, not fly out. Let's not strike out. Let's just hit something into the field. That's a great pitch. I'm so bad at low pitches. It's already an 0-2 count. Watch me swing at something stupid. Okay. Fouled another one off. Had to swing at that. That was a great pitch again. And here comes another one. That one is a terrible pitch. Well outside. I was very early, lucky to make contact at all. That was kind of a hanging slider. Could have done some damage there. I'm very, very early on my swings. Okay, we've brought this back to a 2-2 after another missed slider. This guy is having problems placing his slider. Ooh, man, I almost swung at that. I really did. 3-2 count for Teddy. He stayed patient. And, and ball four gets swung at by my stupid... Oh, my God. It's going to be a long series. <laughs> okay. Still no hits for Teddy. Oh! I spoke too soon. Teddy gets a hit, finally. My lord. Teddy Truman on base. A little weak grounder in between third and short. Gets him his first career hit at double A. Wasn't the best pitch to hit. I mean, it wasn't terrible, but... We will take the fact that we got on base at all, though. Out in the field. Out in right field for Teddy. As this one is going to drop in. I'm not going to bother diving. Wow, that guy actually ran to third. Oh, I should have thrown third. I feel like I could have thrown him out. There's a lot more base running aggressiveness in this year's game. Back up to bat is Teddy. Still looking for... I mean, he got a base hit, but like... A big boy base hit? That was like a weak grounder, and it sucked. Mostly, I'd like a home run, really. Or a double extra base hit. He, he hasn't gotten an extra base hit yet. That's what we're looking for at this point. Oh! I should have swung. I don't know why I checked. I don't know why I thought it was going outside. It's the 1-2 count. Teddy, another weak grounder between third and short. That is Teddy Truman's bread and butter right there, baby. Just really slowly between third and short. Money. Another hit for Teddy Truman. I mean, getting on base is better than nothing, but my goodness, would love to get some power on a swing. So that's the end of that game. We went two for four with two singles and a run scored. And did we win? We did not. We lost. Three to six. Game number three in this first opening series of the season. Still not pitching is Teddy. I imagine that they'll have him pitching at some point. Maybe he's fifth in the rotation because he just really sucks. But he's up to bat, batting 250 so far. That was a great one to hit, and I was early again. I felt like I waited forever, too. I feel like my timing is just super off. Robbins, the lefty. 
Ah, oh, that is a great pitch. Just completely looked at it. Just didn't even bother. Robbins again on 0-2. That is a fantastic pitch again. I feel like I have to swing at that. Low and outside, but kind of scraped the corner. Could have easily been called a strike. So we get another 0-2 pitch. Damn! He knows. He He's read the scouting report. He knows that I can't swing at low pitches. Back up to bat in the third. Two on. Ah, dude, I should be swinging at that. This guy's weird pitches. Robbins, 0-1 count. Okay, has barely a ball, but it is a ball. One and one for Teddy Truman. Oh, dude, how am I so early? I should be crushing these. Dang it, man. It was an absolute meatball for Teddy Truman, and he whiffs. I agree, ump. That was so low, so out of the zone. Like, I don't even know why he bothered to throw that. That's inside. Wow, should have been a strikeout looking. Instead, we're in a 3-2 count. Life saved by the umpire. Two on, one out. Full count. Teddy Truman, here comes the pitch. Walked him. Walked him on three strikes. Thank you, umpire. Really appreciate the help on that one. So here we go again. Back up to bat in the fifth. Oh, for one. There's a man on second. Dude, I love this umpire. Can we get this umpire all the time? I agree that that was a ball. I really do. Like, it wasn't close enough to the middle of the strike zone. Also a ball. 100% agree. Thank you, Ump. Like, I think it might be Angel Hernandez behind the plate. It might be. Another pitch. I, I, I swing at that. I, I don't swing at the first two. I swing at that. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I can't explain it. I can't explain it. I got to lock in. 2-1. That's a ball. That's ball four. In reality, that was probably ball two because two of them should have been strikes that were called balls. Now it's 3-1, and that's a fly out to right field. Oh, my God, dude. Should have been walked. Instead, I'm an idiot, and I fly out to right. Fantastic. Now, speaking of right, that's where we are. Out here in right field. And that one, I'm going to try to cut off so that he cannot get to second, and he cannot... Well played from Teddy Truman. First pitch of this next at bat is inside. Well inside, might I add. That one should have been a ball according to how this ump's been calling the game so far, but is instead a strike. 1-1 one, one count. Runners on the corners. Another strike. A ball in play scores a run. But instead, I'm just watching low pitches blow by because I'm an idiot. One, two. Dang, that had some like lateral movement inside because it, it ended up moving further inside. I wouldn't have swung. Dude, can somebody explain to me why I do that? Like, I won't swing at low pitches in the strike zone, but as soon as it's a low pitch out of the strike zone, I swing. It's actually crazy. That one was in the strike zone and I swung. Look at me. I'm learning. 6 4 we're down. Teddy sucks. And by Teddy, I mean me. Oh! No, dude. How is that a fly out? Oh, boy. We're getting sent to single A at this rate. Another loss. 6 5. Win. What, 0 for 3, 0 for 4 for Teddy? 0 for 4, a fly out in the third on a pitch that I timed well, but that Teddy just popped out. Really nothing I can do about that one. And now, back to the clubhouse we go. Teddy is terrible. Terrible Teddy. Terrible Teddy Truman.
All right, hold on, chat. I'll be right back. All right, sorry, I got a phone call, but uh, it was just a spam call, so not worried about it. Next game might be pitching. Okay, we definitely need to get plate vision up. So, yeah, I've done this before. It's like a PCI where you got to select the ball. Oh, that's not that wasn't even a ball. I thought these always started with a baseball. Oh, God. I'm so bad with the PCI. Come on, baseballs. How am I not getting any perfects? I'm only getting goods. Also, give me a baseball, my word. Oh my God, and then I miss it as soon as it does. Is it possible to get perfect or is it only goods on this? It might just be good. Up to silver. Can we get to a gold? How did I miss that one? We do get to gold. Is there like a platinum in this or is it just gold? I think gold might be the peak. Plus, plus, plus. Big bonuses to plate vision. Got to get that plate vision up for Teddy. He sucks. He's absolutely horrendous. Again, not pitching. So the Rumble Ponies may not be using Teddy as a pitcher, which is fine. Just weird. Like, why would you draft a two-way player just to not pitch him ever? Unless their pitching rotations are much deeper in Double A than they are in the MLB. Only swing at pitches inside of the zone. We know how that typically goes for me. A 167 batting average for Theodore Teddy Truman. That is well low. We are the seventh Mets prospect. Second pitch on the 1-0. and Oh, my God. This guy throws very slow. I should have absolutely crushed that, by the way. It just left a curveball right over the middle. 1-1 one, one count. Here's the pitch. And a fly out to center. <laughs> I only swung at pitches inside the zone, though. Terrible, terrible Teddy. Up to bat again. That is, golly, this guy is slow. Pitch number two on the 0-1 count. And a diving play. Means it's going to be another out for Teddy Truman. Oh, my God. He's terrible. Third at bat of the game. Now 0 for 2. Way early. Another meatball slider. Man, this is. I feel like this is all my fault. I'm just way too early on the swings. By the way, I cannot see the ball very well on this backdrop. Because it's kind of bright in spots. That is outside and high. We're down zero to four. So runner on first. Dude, Teddy, come on, man. I give you a well-timed one on a decent pitch to hit and you give me that. Teddy might be more like his brother Daniel than he is like his brother Chester. Chester obviously being an elite wide receiver and Daniel being an absolutely terrible one. Maybe Teddy's a terrible baseball player. You know, it, it does run in the family to be bad. It also runs in the family to be very good. So he's got the genes regardless as well inside. 2-0 count. The pitch. Oh, I'm early again. All right, Mr. Star. Is that going to be a base hit between third and short? Teddy's bread and butter? No. A great play by the shortstop prevents that. And I think... Ooh, Teddy gets another at bat. It's top 10. So we tied the game up, headed to extra innings. Runner on first to two outs. Teddy Truman. Can he be a hero? He doesn't really need to be because we're up by one already. 
Can he extend the lead, though? Maybe hit his first career home run. Here's the pitch. Well low. Two and no count. Inside, not swinging. Teddy is a patient little boy. Three and O count. I think that, yeah, no, that was ball four. Uh, fall in. Oh, it falls in for Teddy. A base hit. It's just as good as a walk. It's just as good as a walk, but it's a base hit for Teddy Truman. Falls in in front of the left fielder and the center fielder. That was horrible. So, so bad. But a hit is a hit is a hit, I guess. You know what I'm saying? We advance. Our final line first for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Club. Nine runs, 11 hits. No errors. They left. look to advance a runner here top of the first Truman batting a 176 runner on first that's a called strike man wow okay like I was saying runner on first only one man out can Teddy get that home run he's been seeking uh, I waited forever on that pitch because I have not been waiting enough doesn't matter 0 and 2 for Teddy Truman. It's very low. One, two. Why am I not swinging at that? I froze. I froze. I panicked. I froze. I froze. I panicked. Oh, we're pitching. Oh, we are batting and pitching. Let's go. Okay, cool. So we are the starting pitcher in today's game, but we're also the designated hitter, which is exactly what I wanted. So that's really cool to see. So here we go. We are the starting pitcher. The first start in Teddy Truman's career. Uh, apparently is one of the worst batters the MLB has ever seen. But maybe he'll be an insane pitcher. What up, DJ? We're going another sweeper to the outside. Ooh, that's nasty. That's definitely our strikeout pitch with the sweeper. Not Chester Truman. This is Chester Truman's youngest brother. This is Teddy Truman. Chester is in the NFL. And so is his brother, Daniel. Teddy Truman was a high school quarterback that decided to go pro in the MLB instead of the NFL. And he got drafted to the Mets. And now he's on the Rumble Ponies in double A. I mean, a lot of quarterbacks end up in baseball. Like, Pat Mahomes got drafted in the MLB, I'm pretty sure. Jace Jung is the batter. Two up, two down so far for Theodore. And it's a decent pitch. I'm not crazy about this camera angle. It seems so far away. On the 1-1. One, one. That guy swung so early. That's my fastball as well. All right, now we try the Vulcan low and inside. See if he'll swing at it. Ooh, got him. Got him looking. So three up, three down for Teddy in the first. Now we're into the second. And you know what? We're going to start this guy off with a sweeper. And it works. Strike one. And you know what? He didn't even swing. We're going back to it. And we're putting some gas on it. Bang. He swings at it this time. And now we go high and outside with the fastball. And he's dead. Bang. Oh, my God. Teddy Truman. He might be a terrible batter. But he is a crazy pitcher. All right. We start with the fastball. High and inside. Put a little bit of stank on it. Okay, guy should have swung at that. That was a meatball. Holy cow. Uh, all right, we catcher wants it back inside with a fastball. Early again. First baseman makes a play. I don't even have to be there, but I'm there. 
Two up, two down to start the second. Inside, we'll go low and inside with the fastball to start this at bat. Pretty good pitch. Not exactly where I wanted it, but not bad. Catcher wants a Vulcan, and we're going to try to put it a little out of the zone. It's actually still in the zone, but it's a pretty good pitch. And now we haven't thrown a cut yet, so we're going to throw a cut fastball that starts in the corner and then goes inside. Oh, it, it, I mean, it was exactly what I wanted. He just made contact. So now we go to the strikeout pitch, which is my sweeper. Swing and a miss. Doesn't even need to. That's a terrible call from the ump. Actually, it's not because it did touch the corner. And as long as it hits part of the strike zone, it's considered a strike. So technically a strike in the MLB rule book. And the umpire agrees. All right, Teddy. You know, you're killing it on the mound, buddy. Let's kill it with the bat as well. As that is outside. One zero. Oh please, no, dude! Another pop out? Are you kidding me, dude? Are you guys hearing the contact of this bat as well? That's an RBI though, which I think is the first in Teddy's career. Um, the contact is just super weak. Overall, has the game. I mean, it's the show. You know, it's pretty much same old, same old. But it is better than Madden, at least in my opinion. Always been better than Madden. Mostly, I've been looking forward to doing my franchise with the Rockies. Um, but Road to the Show is fun. It's just chill. It's also so cool how they've got a lot of customization. Um, it, it's a lot more like my player in 2K than Superstar Mode in Madden is. Superstar Mode in Madden is just not fleshed out at all. It's like barely a game mode. Uh, MLB The Show, Road to the Show, and then like 2K My Career are both actual game modes that feel like actual game modes with content in them. Plus, you can get through seasons like super, super fast in this since you only really play your at-bats, which is so sick. Yeah, I'm just... In terms of sports that I am a fan of, I love baseball as a sport. I just follow football a lot more. I don't know why. I think that I'm going to start following baseball a ton. I play offense only in Madden. Um, I don't like to do that for my full franchises. I mean, I play offense only, obviously, in, like, my superstar modes, and it goes decently fast, but even that is, like, still not that fast compared to how much you can do in the show. Although, as a pitcher, the games are very slow, especially a starting pitcher. Why would he swing at that? All right, now we go cutter, high and inside. I love the cut fastball high and inside. Because it starts... He swung. He 100%... No way. No way. No way, Brett Callahan. He swung at that. What? Nuh-uh. Uh-uh. No. That's a swing. That is a swing. Look at that. At, at its furthest forward point, the bat is past home plate. That is a swing. Whatever, man. I'm just going to strike him out on this pitch anyway. Wow, I did not place that where I wanted to. So let's put some heat on it. And he pops it up. Oh, that's all me. Actually, that's all the catcher. Don't worry about me. I'll just stay over here. Yeah, I don't know. EA with Madden clearly only cares about Ultimate Team. At least that's what it seems like to me. Because, like, I've been playing a lot of 2K franchise as well recently. And it's just, it's just a way better mode. You can customize everything. You can add expansion teams up to like six or like eight or something. Um, yeah, it's just way better. And, and EA just does not care about their franchise players. It, it's, it's a shame uh, because it, it's a fun mode. And if it had more customization and a lot more content, I could do a lot more things with it. Those were both strikes that didn't get called. No, yeah, no, they push Mutt like crazy. But, I mean, like, in fairness to them, it works. Like, people pay money to have a good team. And we'd have to ask Blue, because Blue plays a ton of Ultimate Team. I don't get the appeal of Ultimate Team at all. I don't, I don't get the appeal of it 
in any in any sport game because the thing about it is that it's it's kind of a card game in a sense because like you know you're getting these cards you're building up like your deck of sorts to make the best team you possibly can and i know you're playing like actual football games but it plays a little bit like a card game at least i think we can all agree um but like what what's the point of spending all that money to make your team really really good in ultimate team just to lose it when the next game comes out that's the thing i don't get like for example my my best friend noah he plays magic the gathering a card game right and he has spent hundreds if not maybe even thousands of dollars on cards right but magic the gathering is a game that he can just play forever he's going to have those cards forever and they're always going to hold that value. He could, at any moment, sell his whole deck and make the money back because they hold their value, right? In an ultimate team, I don't get it because you spend money on these expensive cards that are very good players. You can't you can't sell it for real money. I know you can like sell the items for like in-game currency, but you cannot sell it for real money. And then you won't ever be able to use it again after one year. Like it just doesn't make it doesn't make sense to me as content. It just doesn't. It and I know you can like earn your team through just playing the game. You don't actually have to spend real money to make your team good. But like I don't know, then it's just pay to win. So if you play online, you're just gonna get absolutely tossed by people who have spent hundreds of dollars. Yeah, that that's exactly my point. I'd rather just play franchise. I'd rather just play superstar mode and do simulation style stuff. I just truly, I don't get the appeal of Mutt at all. I really don't. I don't get the appeal of any ultimate teams. If it were something that you could build up for like basically your whole lifetime, like I said with Noah and Magic the Gathering, uh, like if it were something that transferred from game to game, I would consider playing, right? Because then I could just keep building it like forever. That concept is kind of cool because then you get like generations of cards as well. But that's not how it works. You just lose all of your... It's a full... It's a hard reset every year. And that just doesn't make sense to me. It's kind of dumb. So I'd much rather play these, you know, my career, road to the show, superstar mode, and then franchise type things. Which, to be fair, is my preference anyway. It, I, even if Ultimate Team was the way I'm describing it, I still don't think I'd play it. It's just not my cup of tea. Can we get him on the sweeper? Bang! How do you not swing at that? Oh my god, that was like a perfect pitch. Just under the zone on an 0-2 and he doesn't swing. That is crazy. Yo, yo, I love your man videos. Thank you, Silly Rex. I appreciate that. Thank you, thank you. Support is always appreciated. Strike out. See you later, Malgari. Alright, he wants me to start with a curve, which is kind of weird. Inside. I don't know, I just hope that Madden next year has more stuff for franchise people. And hopefully the superstar mode actually has some actual content in it. That would be that'd be pretty cool. One of the stupidest things about superstar mode is that you have these weekly activities, but they are identical every single week. I mean, they are exactly the same every week. The amount of times I've like a teammate has challenged me to a 40-yard dash to see who the faster player is, is insane. I mean, it's every single episode, which is why I just skip the activities in the Tyler Gibson series, because it's just the same thing every single time. Yeah, I don't know. EA needs to do better. The, the game in terms of its presentation is just horrible. Is this still the same at bat? I have not been paying attention. I've been too busy ranting about how much I hate Madden. Dang it. If I can skip it, I do. Well, when I say s skip it, I mean like I just don't show it in the videos. I just skip over it. I want like more content. Like the cool thing about 
my career in like 2K is that you get a ton of content, right? And granted, that's not for everyone. Not everyone wants to have all that content, but the fact that it's there, right? The fact that it's there is the thing. Like I can do it if I want to, I can skip it if I want to. That's the point. Like superstar mode, even the stuff that is there is terrible and there's almost nothing there. Like, I can't remember the last time I got a cutscene in that game. And and if there is a cutscene, it's like it's just like a text exchange between like you and your agent or something. I think the last thing that happened is when I hit 90 overall, my guy got like a text message from Chad Johnson who was like, You're almost a 99, and that was like the whole thing. And other than that, there's zero cutscenes, and I just have to make up all of the story elements. This start has been going very well. We're getting no run support. We're in the fifth now. And still, I think we've only given up one hit. That was a great pitch. Put it in play. I think that's still going to be an out, even though he fumbled with it. It is. So yeah, basically, I mean, this whole rant is like the, the reason why I'm basically checked out with Superstar mode. I'm probably going to finish this season with Tyler Gibson and then and then be done with it. Maybe do one more season. I know it's very popular on my channel. You guys like it a lot if anybody is in here in in YouTube. Um, I'm curious as to why, actually, if there's people here. It, what is it about that uh, series that gives you so much enjoyment? Because, um, golly, is it just a little boring to play at the moment? Oh, we're at bat again. I forgot we were a batter. Can I hit a home run, please? But, yeah, I think that with the YouTube channel, my, my goal is always for it to be, like, sports gaming. So not just exclusively Madden, although I think Madden will kind of always be the baby of the channel. But it just works out really well. MLB The Show comes out at the same time the NFL is, like, in its off season and is kind of dead, you know, kind of quiet. So it's just good timing. So I think in you know years to come, I'll switch to MLB The Show. Oh, Jesus, I swung at that. During like the spring and the summer. There will always be Madden on the channel, but it'll be nice to have MLB The Show as something I can play. I am truly very excited to do a Rockies franchise. Because that team has been hurt. You know what? That was another one of those instances where my my thumb just pressed the button. Like, I swear, I was thinking, don't swing. Which one? Oh, I was just curious uh, if anyone here in the YouTube chat, like, um, what is it about, like, the Tyler Gibson series, if that's the one that you watch or anyone else watches that, that you guys like? What difficulty are you playing on? Currently, I'm on Hall of Fame, and I've been struggling. That's a ball? Dude. What up, Jack? This ump can't be serious. No, a second base hit given up for Theodore. Theodore Teddy Truman. It's the bottom of the six. Do you think they keep me in after that? Oh, they do. Okay, they don't care. So that guy has 28 steel. We'd still have decent energy. Damn, I wish we could get more run support, which is a little bit my fault, to be honest, because I'm just walking. I can't get any hits. Uh-oh. No, no, we're fine. There's a fly out to left. All right, we're starting with the sweeper. Yikes. Okay, it's foul. That was an absolutely horrendous pitch. Bro could have leaned into that and just gotten a base for free. It is crazy how bad the accuracy is when you don't hit 
this little yellow bar. Like, even that, that was so close. And that was way off. 2-2 two, two count. Okay, he swings at that. Fouled off. He wants a cutter. All right, let's do a cutter high and inside. It starts outside the zone and should come back in, theoretically. Literally perfect. That was exactly what I wanted. And he still managed to make contact. So, while it's still a 2-2, two, two, let's go for the sweeping curve. Swings through it. Strikeout, baby. Bang. Teddy Truman. Now right right All right, we're starting with the Vulcan change. Great pitch. So good. He wants another cutter. We'll do the same thing. High and inside. Put some gas on it. Oh, my God. Could have killed a man with that. And right, now he wants a curve. Left that one way up. All right, and now we go to the sweeper. I'm going to do it a little differently. I'm going to try to get it to just like the inside corner. That is not where I wanted it. Should be over, though. Yeah, nice. Good stuff. End of the sixth. Didn't allow a run or a walk. So we got some bonuses there. And I'm, I'm guessing that'll be the end of Teddy's pitching. Although, they might make me go into the seventh, even on like the sort of low energy. That is exactly what they're doing. So we are pitching the seventh here in Teddy Truman's first start. I don't think I've seen someone play it for so long. Just one listening to your voice and see how weird the NFL teams would come on superstar mode. I wish there were a way that I could simulate it. Because I think it would be cool as like a send-off episode to like simulate the next 10 seasons of, of Tyler Gibson. That would be so fun. I would enjoy that a lot. But I don't think there's a way to do it. I think I have to physically play the games. God, what a pitch. Why are we starting with a curveball when my energy is this bad? I, I don't trust this, bro. I'm going to give up a homer or something, and it's only 1-0. So, I mean, that would mean tying the game. I don't know why I'm still in here on the energy I'm on. He swings at that? What a goober. All right, we're doing a cut fastball high and inside again. It's one of my favorite pitches. He swings through it. Oh, my God, Teddy. You should simulate this. Shut up, Jack. <laughs> Pitcher getting tired. Oh, I know. I've been aware of this, but I can't sub myself out. That's a fly out. Easy peasy. Is this double A? Yeah. You always start at double A and road to the show. We're on the Rumble Ponies. We're on the Binghamton Rumble Ponies. Look at us. <laughs> we got drafted to the Mets in like the sixth or something, or the seventh maybe. Teddy has been absolutely elite as a pitcher thus far. And absolutely horrendous as a batter, so. Oh my god. One two count. That's way inside. Do not swing. Do not swing. Do not pass go. Do not collect two hundred dollars. Two two count. Okay, all right. We're up to a 3-2. Do we walk again? Teddy's a patient boy so far. Why did I swing? Fall in, fall in. Oh my God, oh my God. Why did I swing at that? We got the runner to second. I thought he ran to third. <laughs> it's the same as a walk. Oh my God, a little bloop single to right field. Good Lord. I mean, it would have just been the same had I just not swung. Good lord. Why am I still in this game, bro? Look at that energy bar. It's full red. It's the bottom of the eighth, and we're only up one. Like, oh my god. We're going to give up a home run, and we're going to get a no contest or a no decision, whatever it's called. Because they keep leaving me in with zero energy. Like, take me out, please. Ump. That is not a ball. Dude. Do you... Look at the bottom left. Look at where that pitch was. He called that a ball. I sorry, I forgot that there's a pitch clock. 
That's a fly out. He called that a ball. No way, man. All right, we're only throwing fastballs currently. That's a strike, apparently. Oh, he want he wants a sweeper. Okay, I'm a little scared. Okay, we're good. As long as it's not in the zone. Another fastball, high and inside. These guys are not swinging. These are perfectly good pitches to hit. Now we go way inside. I mean, I want to kill this guy. Bang. Okay, they know what they're talking about, apparently, because Teddy's still killing it. Start with a changeup. I don't know why, but we're starting with a changeup. High and inside fastball. Perfect pitch. Literal perfection. And then, I did not mean to select the cutter. I wanted the sweeper, but we're doing the cutter. Low and outside. Oh, he makes contact with that, huh? He's out, though, as long as it's a good throw. And it is. Through eight shutout innings. Do not leave me in as the pitcher, I swear. I swear. We do not have the energy to pitch a ninth. No, do not. We're going to throw the game. We're going to throw. A... Thank you. Thank you. Dominic Hamill, I really appreciate that, buddy. You're going to do great finishing this one out. Don't tell me we lost. We won. Okay, two to zero. That's a dub for Theodore. Good lord. I tried to sort of make him look like Chester Truman Jack. I don't know if I succeeded at all, but I figured he looks enough like Chester and different enough to say that they're brothers. What do you mean not at all? He looks just like him. He must be adopted. That's just not true. To be fair, we never get to see Tr Chester Truman with his helmet off. So, <laughs> for all we know, they could look completely different. All right, Chester Truman is batting 211, by the way. Absolutely horrible. Is a goaded pitcher, though. Pitched eight scoreless innings. Oh, a little bloop single again? A little bloop? Like, dude, we are so good at bloop singles. Oh, my God. <laughs> Did I call him Chester? Shoot. I'm probably going to do that a lot. I, I've created this problem for myself, though by having it be a Truman family on this YouTube channel. No, I mean, that, yeah, I mean, that's a strike. Welcome to the Truman Show, indeed. One ball, two strikes. Somehow the name Truman, not a name available for, like, the audio in this game. That's a ball. E oh, yeah, am I the DH? I didn't even see that. Come on. That's a fly out to left center. Bro. Oh, my God. We can't... We cannot hit anything better than a bloop single. What is happening? 238 average. No home runs, one RBI. Driving all runners. Yeah, we absolutely bombed a home run in the uh, in the combine game, like a 106 exit velocity, 400 foot home run, and then we have just been terrible ever since getting drafted. I don't know why I never swing at the low pitches. 1-1, one, one, base is loaded. Now would be the time, though. A grand salami. Oh! Damn it! I'm too early. All right, Madison. Give me, a, give me one to hit, buddy. How does he swing through that? No way! 
petty, bruh. I don't think my timing was bad. I think that his plate vision is just so bad that he missed. We'll, we'll see. Next time he's up to bat, we'll be able to see how my timing was. That sucks. Wait, can we not? We can't. I, I want to know if my timing was bad. I didn't get to see it. I felt like my timing was fine. I think he just missed because his plate vision is so bad. He only has a 52 plate vision. Horrendous. Maybe I need to lean back in my gamer chair. Here we go. Teddy. Teddy. Dude, it's good timing. And he's getting that weak contact. Come on, man. He's awful. I haven't got anything other than just like a bloop single. I think I've gotten two like ground ball singles between third and short and like four bloop singles. And that is it. That's been the whole season so far. He's supposed to be a power hitter. He has like 70 or 80 power or something. Like he has good power. That's a good curveball. 77 power against righties. Yeah, I don't know why they have him DHing when he's this horrendous. That's another just fly out to right field. Uh, <laughs> dude. Now I think I'm getting why people play with the PCI on. Oh, no, we're not a DH. We're in right field. All right, come on. No, Teddy. That target was strange. Nah, that, that's been a normal thing. One ball, one strike. Come on, big guy, one time. Here you go. You can have it be on button accuracy if you want it to be, but I don't know. I like. I kind of like that. One ball. Yeah, that's been a thing for probably at least the last five years or something. Kind of hard to see the ball with this backdrop right now. Please. Please. No, Teddy, man. <laughs> oh, my Lord. It's going to be this going to be a long series. <laughs> it's going to be a long series. Holy cow, dude. I'm going to freak out. I'm going to freak out. I don't know why we can't hit worth anything. Teddy takes away a home run. The defensive mastermind, Teddy Truman. Look at him. Just snagged a home run off the top of the wall. Bang. Absolute goat. He can't hit, but he can pitch and he can catch. The pitcher is thrilled. All right, I'm not allowed to swing at the first pitch. I'm taking my hand off the controller. I have to take the first pitch. Oh my god, it's an absolute meatball. Alright, here we go. Oof. Got a lucky call there. That was a perfect two-seam fastball. Right in the corner. A 1-1 one -one count instead. That was a terrible changeup. Yeah, every, every time I make contact, it gets like an inch closer to the wall. Oh, that's a makeup call for sure. For sure. I understand. There was a terrible call earlier in the at bat. That makes sense. I mean, that's kind of, that's very close to a strike already, anyway. 3 2 count. Here we go. I know I'm late on the swing, but dude, the the sound of the contact is so, it's so gross. Are you guys hearing it? It's weak. It's just like very weak. It's like clink. 
<laughs> like, bro is not making good contact. It does. It sounds like Little League. Oh, that. Yeah, that's gone. Later. Kiss the bat. Mwah. See ya. Thank you, Teddy. Good lord. <laughs> it's about time. It's like the 50th meatball he's gotten. He finally clangs it. A 105 exit velocity. First home run at double A. Teddy Truman. I love the, the uh, bat flip I gave him. <laughs> the kiss of the bat. I think that's sick. Watch it fly. Bang. 422. Good lord. That one is way gone. And Teddy walks around the bases. Finally. Okay. I feel a lot better now that we've gotten the first home run out of the way. Yeah. 105.5 exit velo. Pretty good. Pretty good. How the March Madness game has been going, by the way? I haven't checked. Oh, I don't even have it open anymore. Hold on. Let me open my bracket. I know that BYU lost, which sucks. I had them making it decently far. First for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Pony. Wow, Dayton ended up coming back and beating Nevada. Dang, that sucks. I had uh, I had Nevada winning that. They went by three. Oregon beat South Carolina, which I had. Uh, and that's the only ones that are over. Oakland up a little bit on Kentucky right now. Gonzaga killing McNeese. Thank God I didn't take that upset. A lot of people did. Uh, and Texas up on Colorado State. And that's pretty much it so far. Iowa State up on South Dakota State. So I'm looking okay. I have a couple that are wrong, but for the most part, I've been right so far for the first round. Not too shabby. All right, we only had the one hit that game. Our batting average is still terrible. Let's see if we can get that up. All right, Teddy, you're at 222 and you have your first home run. So let's get let's get these numbers up, buddy. That's a good that's a good pitch. Nothing to say about that one. That's a good pitch. Batting 300 over the last three, so he's improving. They call him Steady Teddy because he steadily improves. Oh one. Oh, that's I mean that's a hit. I think it's not. Wow. Okay, never mind. I thought that was getting down. G. Workman. Oh, my. That one gets down for a hit. We hit the relay man. And he's safe at second. A bad throw from the relay man. Despite being, like, right there. I can't believe that Nevada choked away. They were winning by, like, 11 over Dayton. That's unfortunate for them. Oh, my. Wait, that's way back there. I'm complaining. That's almost a home run. Oh, it's not, though. That's the real issue. Another play for us. This one's going to get down. Oh, into the crowd. Automatic double. Ground rule double. It's a great pitch. Who are these double-A pitchers? Just absolutely dotting the corners. That's a terrible pitch. <laughs> this is also a horrendous pitch. Never mind. This guy definitely needs to be a double-A. That, that's a really good pitch. Just right on the edge of the strike zone. Didn't think I could swing at that. That's a terrible pitch. This guy cannot decide if he's good or if he's bad. Payoff pitch, 3-2. Way high on base for Teddy. Let's go. Give it a ride here. 
So he's 0 for 2 with a walk. It's now top nine, two runners on, one out. Teddy could win the game here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Let's forget about it. Let's forget, that one doesn't count. It's 0-0 as far as I'm concerned. All right, 1-0 count. It's a 1-0 -oh count. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, thank God. The ump calls out a ball. All right, so it should be 3-0. Oh. <laughs> Swung at the most horrific curveball the world has ever seen. Why do I swing at that? Why, 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 why? I have a problem. I have a problem. Oh, oh. Oh, I'm normally so patient. Like, I've drawn so many walks already, but sometimes I just swing at the most horrendous things. <sighs> okay, another walk. <laughs> Jesus. There were like six balls in that at bat. Do we win? This is why you don't take walks. I walked twice, and they just couldn't bring me home ever. Because I'm the only one that can bat in runs, which is bad because I'm not batting in anything. I'm batting 207. That is a great pitch and a bad call. I mean, that was a perfect bottom corner pitch. The 2-0 count. It's my time. It's my time to shine. Nope, it's not. I'm not swinging at that. That's horrendous. What position does Teddy play officially? He's a two-way player. Uh, he plays right field in the outfield, and he's a starting pitcher. But he can also be considered the DH. Oh. It's so high. It's so high. I just don't have to swing. I just don't have to. Okay, but that's not my fault. That is Teddy's fault because my timing was good. But Teddy has terrible plate vision, so he didn't put his bat in the right spot. That's the problem with not playing with the PCI. I have to take the first pitch, which is great because it's a ball. All two. Look at me. Look at me go. I'm a patient boy. I almost swung at that chat. I, I almost did. I genuinely almost swung at that. No way. Dude. He can't put anything, like, on the ground. Like... I'm tempted to just have the PCI up and just leave it in the middle. Because he keeps missing on, like, balls right down the middle. And I know my timing wasn't ideal, but, like, that shouldn't affect where he's placing. Because, like, theoretically, me having the PCI off means that the AI is in charge of the PCI, essentially. And because his plate vision is so bad, it means he's terrible with it. So I do the timing, he does the PCI. Oh my god. <laughs> that pitch was to the moon. 3-1. One on, two out. 0 for 3 for Teddy on the day. That's another walk. I think I have more walks than hits on the season. Series four for 20 with a home run. The final line score for our ball ball.
Ooh, a pitching perk. Is, is somebody... Oh, no, we're getting a phone call. We've been relegated to single A. How are you feeling about this idea going forward as a two-way player? So, okay, this is something that I love about this game. That, like, it will... It, this is the game's way of essentially asking you, like, you you already committed to being a two-way player, but the game is like, are you sure? It's giving you the opportunity to back out of it, which is very sick. I think that's a really cool idea. So, like, at this point, I could be like, I'm not a Shohei Otani. Um, but I, I want to keep doing both. But I just think that's a really cool feature that the game added. I want to pitch in the starting rotation and then hit and field between appearances on the hill. I like to focus mostly on hitting and position play, but also pitch occasionally. See myself as a closer... Yeah, no, this one, for sure. Just a cool way for the game to be like, hey, if you've decided you don't like this, you have the opportunity to change it. I just like that. It gives you a mulligan, almost. We have a pack to open, so we get to pick one of these. Ooh, control two, but it's silver. Two control, two arm, two home run over nine. Yeah. Wait, what? What are, where is it? Control. I'm already using control three. Is this different? It's silver compared to, I think that other one is bronze. Yes, that's bronze control three. This is silver control two. Yeah, we're switching to that. We've got gold power three. So one thing I just realized, let's make a new play style. Let's call it pitcher. Because I'm, I'm realizing that I might have different items that actually help me more as a pitcher than they do as a batter. And so I might want to use those instead. Uh, and it also makes sense to separate them because then I can use two batting perks and two pitching perks. So we can do control two and we can do maybe just control three again. Just, just really have good control. Control two, control three. Yeah, I think so. And then oh, we have to make our pitches again. That's dumb. So, what did we have? We had a four seam, a Vulcan change, wherever it is. We had a sweeping curve. We had a 12 6 curve that I almost never use. Should we run something else instead, maybe? I don't know. Um, and then we had a cutter, which I was actually using quite a bit. So, you know what? Let's have the cutter be the fourth, and then the 12 6 be the sixth pitch. Okay, and then. Um, yeah, well, I mean, we'll still run the same bat. Is it so? Do any of these gloves give us? No, these are they're all just batting stats. Okay, that's fine. But a glove might give us different pitching stats. So, like, this is plus three hit over nine. This is plus five. So, like, this one is technically better for us when we're pitching. The ice cream rare edition glove. It's fucking ice cream glove. Yeah, it's better. So this one's better when we're actually out in the field. This one's better when we're on the mound. So we're going to run this as our pitching glove. It has sprinkles on it. That's so funny. Uh, cleats. So it doesn't matter. We have the same. I know we don't have a mask. Double guard, leg guard. We don't have a bat grip. Uh, eyewear doesn't matter. Ritual item doesn't really matter. Uh, we could look at like the show shop we do have 6,000 so why don't we buy six of these equipment packs All right, we have six equipment packs to open. They're just the standard equipment packs. It contains three silver or better equipment items and one home run animation. Open. We get a home run animation. We get this. 
a elbow guard that I think is just worse than our current one. This is the same one we already have, so I'm just going to quick sell that. A terrible bat, I'm selling that. And the crappy elbow guard. Oh yeah, we're <laughs> selling those, okay. Terrible start. Oh! Oh! What? Why is it two pairs of glasses? Oh my god, these are worth a lot. Four plate vision, that's really good. Three discipline, wow, okay. So these are both very good. Why is this one worth more? I don't know what glasses I'm currently using. Let me sell this bat though. Don't need it, don't need it. I own three of these fishermen things, so I'm selling that. Another pack. Silver, silver glove. Yeah, we have we already have gold batting gloves, so just immediately sell. Ew. Plus two power. We have a better ritual item already. Sell that. And we already have a bunch of bats. So sell that. That was a terrible pack. Okay, a gold bull rage. Another gold. I think we literally already have this. Yeah. <laughs> God. Oh. Ooh, some new cleats. Plus 12 speed, plus 10k over 9, and plus 6 hit over 9. Wait, those are very good. Those are very good. Those are really, really good. Okay, I, I will take that. Definitely using that for our pitcher. That was a good grab, huh? Ew. <laughs> uh... Actually, that's not a terrible ritual item. That could be better than my current one. This is definitely not better than my current sleeve. Definitely not better than my current bat. Uh, we already own one of these. I already own one of these. <laughs> I already own one of those. That sucks. And another silver. Okay, so those are all of our packs. Go back to the play style. So we got those. Okay, so yeah, the ones I was using were gold. So now we have these. Uh, and one of which is just better. Wait, so why are these ones worth more money? These Under Armour ones were worth more than these ones. For some reason. Is it just because they look cooler? They're worse. Like, this is just better discipline, better fielding, and better accuracy. These are just better in every way. Very interesting. As for ritual items, I'm currently using that, which gives me plus four power. This gives me plus three clutch, plate vision, and discipline, which I'm kind of tempted to use right now. Like, the plus four power is nice, but we're not hitting the ball consistently enough for it to matter. Okay, so how do I go to, like... Can I sell the items I have? How do I do that? Cause like I wanna sell I wanna sell these because they were worth like five thousand and they're just worse. But I can only equip them from this screen. I can't sell them. I might have to back out of the show to do that. Equip oh yeah, did I forget to equip those cleats? I thought I did. No, you're right. I didn't. Yeah, those are nasty. Those are really nasty. Those are so good. Oh my god. Um, cause what I so what I want to do is sell items that I'm not using, so that I can just get more packs. So let me see if I can do that. File management, save, TTS. Did I just save it twice? I did, whatever, it's fine. Go to, nah, that didn't work. Cause the locker just lets me buy stuff. Okay, I go to the locker and I go open. I have to enter the shop and then I can only buy things. I can't, I don't think at least I can get to my own equipment from here I think I have to back out of the show which kind of sucks 
and then go to like my inventory. No, it's not vaults. And now I have to wait for this to load before I can back out. Um, where? Oh, wait, wait, wait. Maybe it's in here? Yeah, yeah, yeah. My collection, my inventory. So I think I have cards as well. Do I? Yeah, I have one Oriole. And I don't give a care about this type of stuff. So let's just quick sell this. Five stubs. Whoops, I clicked no. I have one royal. Quick sell options. Quick sell one, yes. I have one astro. So options, quick sell one. Okay. Okay, I couldn't quick sell that one. Okay, so I think that's all the cards. So here's... Whoops, here's the equipment I own. So this is the bat I've been using, but it seems like most of the diamond bats do the same things at certain levels. Wow, the MLB Prime Signature Series is a plus nine, plus seven. That's nasty. Uh, so I can probably just sell the other bats that I have, like this clockwork one. Yeah, I can quick sell this for a thousand. Easy, done. Because they, they all are just plus six, plus six. So there's no point in having... All three of them. I can't sell this one, though. Can I sell the other one? Because if so, because I think it's also a plus six, plus six. Yeah. If so, I'll just sell the other one and use that one. Well, no, I can't sell that one. Okay, I can't sell that one either. I think those were deluxe edition things, so I guess that's why I can't. And then we will just sell everything I have. And get more packs so i have those batting gloves so i don't need my gold ones what happens if i view it in market these have a sell now price of 145 so if i do quick sell is it going to say 145 or 125 okay interesting so quick selling it is worse. Okay, gotcha, 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 gotcha. So I can sell it on the market at 145. I'm learning. Sale successful. Wow, somebody, did somebody insta buy? That was crazy. Okay, so you always want to sell it in the market, it seems like. This one appears to have the same price. Yeah, so that one's the same. So if I have something gold or better, I'll try to sell it on the market. Otherwise, I'm just selling. I'm just quick selling. But I'm learning. Thanks for the cheap gloves. You're welcome, buddy. Anytime. I'm glad I could do that for you. All right, so what gloves? I don't think I have, yeah, I have a gold. I have two golden gloves, but I'm using both of them. So I'm not gonna sell either of those. I'm gonna quick sell this for 25. And we have the diamond cleats. How much are these worth, by the way? Sheesh, 3,900, but they're very good. So I understand why. What are like the best ones? 10, 8, 10, 6, 5. Oh my god. 14 speed. <laughs> Holy cow. Uh, okay, we'll quick sell these. I don't even have a catcher mask. I'm not playing as a catcher. Might as well sell this on the market because I don't play as a uh, catcher. How, what does it do? It's just plus four blocking or plus five blocking, which is just a catcher ability. So I may as well just sell it on the market. Same with this. Wait, did I say no sell? Yeah, I can't sell that. 
Uh, I do have an elbow guard, but I think I only have the one. Yeah, I sold the other one. Leg guards. Uh, wrist guard. I don't have a different one. I have a couple arm sleeves. And this one is just better than this one. So I guess I'll just quick sell this. Go oh, next. I don't have any back grips yet. Okay, these were the glasses. Because I have these, which are just better than these in every way, other than maybe look, which is why people might like these ones. So if we view in the market, yeah, they're selling for 3988 So we're going to sell these on the market. Bang. And now we have enough for six more packs. <laughs> we can sell these on the market as well. We can quick sell these. I don't have any socks yet. I also guess I don't have to... I don't have to buy packs. I could look for individual items. But they are... They're very expensive, actually. Okay. I'm happy with that. Pax is more of a rush. <laughs> so true. Back into road to the show. Let's get some more packs for Teddy. Wish I could buy them in bulk. Okay, here we go. Six more packs. Pack number one. The caddy. I don't know what that is. What is this? An elbow guard? Which I already have one. So I'm selling that. Selling this. And I'm selling this. So an absolute dud on the first pack. More catcher's gear. Don't care. Okay, a back grip is actually good. Because I don't have one yet. So this is just a positive. Even though it's a crappy one. That's a net positive. This is not going very well. Ooh. Just plus two power. Get that out of my sight. I think I got two of the same bat. Uh-oh. This is going terribly. Gum? Get out of here. Brother. <laughs> this pack opening is going so bad. Hello? Oh, no. Oh. Oh, no. It's not good. <laughs> it was really bad, actually. All six of those packs were terrible. Oh, my God. I'm only 75 away from being able to buy another pack. No, they cost money, bro. The stubs cost money. Okay, that wasn't all bad, though, because we did get the bat grip, which is a positive. Uh, I was hoping to get some more gear for, like, pitching. Wait, didn't I sell these? The game still says I have these equipped. Uh, I, I may have just found an exploit. I'm getting the bonuses from a chest protector I sold. So if I equip it and then I go to the main menu to sell it, do I keep the bonuses and still get the item? No, I don't have. I don't have it. It's gone. It's just. Uh, I think. I'm still getting the bonus from it. Which is interesting because I, I don't have it. There's nothing here. So, just pointing that out. Could be an exploit. I'm not going to use it or abuse it because I'm not... This is not who I am, you know? Uh, also, let's load the default playstyle and make it 
a little better because we got some stuff now that we didn't have before. We also, since this is going to be the batting one, don't want to use control anymore. We want to use... Is there something that gets my plate vision up? No. No, there's not. But we get a contact boost in two strike count. Sounds pretty good. Um, so now we'll go down. That's all the same. That's the same. That one's fine. New cleats. Abuse it. Well, what if it's not actually working? And plus, they'll patch it, and then I'll just have sold all my good stuff and not get to use it anymore. <laughs> so that would suck. I still don't have any socks, man. We went down to a 59 with the new stuff? That's fake. That has to be fake. Oh, we went, literally, we went, we went down in overall by one. <laughs> okay. Sure, sure, sure we did. All right, back to playing the actual video game. That was a fun little detour we took. All right, we need to get this plate vision up. It's so bad. That is where we are on the struggle bus. Do, 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 do. None of those were baseballs. That's a baseball. That's a baseball. This little minigame is so easy at first, and then it gets kind of fast, and you panic. Now they're not giving me nearly enough baseballs. I missed one. Oh, I missed two. Uh-oh. Baseballs, please. Bang. Ah, no, I swear I got that one. Bang. 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 Bad? Still got gold, though. So it's as big of a bonus as we could get. Oh. With Carlos Pena. These are so quiet for me, by the way. I cannot hear a word they're saying. Has been released, and of course, there are some exciting new names to get to know. Carlos, what does being included on this exclusive list mean to these players? Well, it's a huge honor, first of all. Am I officially a top 100 prospect? With like the hype and the pressure, so you have to be very, very, very focused on what you're doing, and understand that just getting back to work is going to be key to continue the success. You touched on it. Being a part of this list comes with extra scrutiny, maybe a little extra pressure. How do players navigate that? It's difficult, I, I must say. I, from personal experience, could tell you that you have to kind of set that aside. You understand, you embrace it, you enjoy it, you're thankful for it. But at the end of the day, you still have to go in there and grind. Forget about all those distractions, focus on the game. Well, congrats to all the players that were on this top 100 prospects list. We can't wait to see how they develop in the near future and hopefully break into the big leagues. Congrats on making the top 100 prospects list. Thanks, Stephanie. I'm really happy for you. Right now, you're currently ranked number 99. Couldn't hear it. I, dude, same. It's so quiet. Only way is up. Teddy's just a real positive guy. Just a very positive lad. You check the top prospects list anytime to see if there's been any movement. League leaders menu. You can also see where you currently rank as a prospect at your position and within your organization. You need to get to 69 and then retire. On it. I'm on it. Oh, Teddy's pitching today. Another pitching outing for Teddy. I think, does he still bat? He does. He still bats third during these. 
Here we go. The second outing for Teddy still yet to give up a run as a pitcher. That could have been one because that was a terrible pitch. Go top left. Bang. All right, and then, and then, and then we hit him with the strikeout pitch, which is a cutter high and inside. Bang. Never mind. Way too high. And then we hit him with the sweeper. Bang. Oh, my God. My timing is horrendous right now. Okay, so we come back to the handy-dandy fastball. Okay, maybe we try the sweeper again. I wanted to try the cutter, actually, but I hit the wrong button. Bang, gone. That's the strikeout pitch. Next batter, 1-0 count immediately. 1-1 one, one count. Okay, not a base hit. It's fine. I wasn't even worried. Okay, I did not mean to hit the curveball, but we're throwing a curve. And he swings through it. What a dummy idiot. And he's out at first. From the four-seamer. Good call, ump. Good call, ump. I'm going to throw the exact same pitch in the exact same spot, hopefully. Bad call, ump. Bad call, ump. All right, he wants the cutter. I'm happy to oblige. Ooh, that's a nasty pitch. All right, and now that he's seen the cutter down and away, we go down and away again, make him think it's another cutter, but then it drops out because it's a Vulcan change. He actually swung at it, but he made contact. Okay, and now he's expecting low pitches, so I'm going high and inside with the cut ball. Cut ball? That's not a that's not a pitch. And now we go to the four seam. No movement at all. Just gas. Nope. These guys are so patient. Go back to the changeup. Bang. Oh my god. Okay, you swung at it, so not my problem, but that was horrendous. Now Teddy up to the plate. He's got his new cleats, which makes him very fast. But mostly, I'd love to just get that 188 average up. <laughs> we were drafted in the eighth round. Man, we are terrible. All right. Sick. Just gently ground out to third. Back on the mound. <laughs> God. He's a painfully bad hitter, but he's been very good as a pitcher. Top of the second now. Wants to go to a changeup again. So I'm going to go low and inside. Keep the eye level low. Now he's like, dang, I have to look way down for these Vulcan changes. So he might be thinking he's going to go high with a fastball. No, I'm staying low, baby. He doesn't swing. It's fine. But now this time, he's like, okay, he's just going to stay low. He's scared of pitching me high. But then I pitch high and he swings through. Strike out for Teddy. Vulcan change. Low and outside. Very low and very outside was not really my plan, necessarily. So now we go to the fastball high and inside. He swings at it. That was a great pitch. Perfectly in the corner. I think we go to it again. And we put some absolute gas on it. Bang! 96. He wants a Vulcan and he wants it outside. I'm going to go way outside. Like, not even trying to hit the zone. And it went back in the zone, so it was perfect. And now this is how we get him. Now you get a sweeper. And he doesn't swing. And that was all just to prep him for this. The high and inside fastball gone later. This guy always, this catcher loves starting with the changeup. It keeps working. He wants another changeup. I'm going to give him what he wants. Worked again. What does he want this time? If you say changeup, brother, 
Okay, he wants a fastball inside. Oh, did you mean a high and inside fastball? My favorite pitch. He swung. He swung. Yep, gone. Out. Struck him out. Teddy's kind of a phenom at the pitcher position. But he's an absolutely terrible batter for a two-way player. Although he's been pretty good at drawing walks. What is, can I see his OBP? Uh, is he considered a where is he considered a oh I'm on the wrong team. That'll do it. Player card uh stats. Oh, we we're seeing his pitching stats. Aha. Oh, this game is so good. Yeah, I have a 300 on base percentage, which is not bad considering the average is 182. Um, can I see the number of walks? Six walks and six hits. I have the same number of walks as I do hits. Not great. So if we can get on base, we're actually relatively fast now. Maybe I should stop skipping the base running. Because we have decent okay. speed. I think. With the we got a plus twelve, so I'd imagine it's not bad. Fifty-two is my speed. Never mind. Even with the plus twelve, my speed is atrocious. And we just lightly ground out the third again. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm doing something wrong for sure. As the batter. This catcher absolutely loves change-ups. Uh, we're top third. I don't think I've given up a hit yet. One sweeper. God, I left that up. And now we go cut fastball. That's going to start out of the zone and then head into the zone. It's, oh, dude, it's such a good pitch. I love the cutter. And it, it, it's just slightly slower than my four-seamer. So it's almost like a change-up that has a little bit of horizontal movement. So good. On a 1-1 one, one count to a guy with the last name Ricketts. Oh, foul, okay. So it's one, two, and he wants a cutter. I love the cutter. It's like my favorite pitch in my repertoire. He swings at that, what a dweeb. A one count. He wants the sweeper, which has not really been working super well today. Ooh, until right then. That was perfectly placed. And you already know what time it is. I'm, I'm ignoring my catcher. I'm going a cut fastball high and inside again. Oh my god, it's such a good pitch. I love it against the righties. All right, so top four. I haven't given up a hit yet. So currently on a no-no bid, but I mean, it's only the fourth. Aw, oh, come on. That could have been a strike. That could have been a called strike. Aw, oh, come on. That could have been a strike. That could have been a called strike. Uh-oh. Is that the first hit of the game? It's not. Fly out to center. Perfectly placed fastball. Now we go to the changeup that this catcher loves so much. Ooh, ooh, we get the benefit of the doubt. And now you already know what time it is. We go to the cut fastball, put some gas on it. Ooh, he makes contact. This guy's no scrub like his other friends. And now we go like a low and outside fastball. I never throw the fastball low, so maybe it'll get him. It did, it did, it did. He had no clue. He was so confused. 
fastball's been high all game, and now it's low, and he's like, uh-oh. Okay, bad call, ump, but it's all right. I forgive you. We will go low with the Vulcan. He swings at that. That's crazy. That was a terrible pitch. We'll go low and inside with the Vulcan. Oof, that's a base hit. Dang it. Well, there goes the no-no. It's actually a perfect game at the time. And that's a double from B-Ball. His name's B-Ball. First hit of the game. Um, uh, yeah, we're going to... Wait, wait, wait. We want program stars and inning without allowing a run. Yeah, let's do that. Program stars are good because we get more packs. The more program stars we get. So anytime you see program stars, I'll probably be going after those. Now my timing's all goofed up. Because we're no longer in the full wind-up. Ooh, well... There go my program stars, because that is a earned run. The first earned run in the career of Teddy Truman. Oh, God. I was just spamming. Oof. Okay. I was spamming X and just threw a fastball. Okay, that should be a fly out, right? Does that fall in? No way. Okay. Yeah, fly out. End of the fourth inning for Teddy. All right, Teddy, we're over two on... Oh, my God. The hitting has just been so bad. I don't know why. I don't know what to do. We're up to 60 vision now, too. So it's not like our vision is that bad anymore. He just doesn't make good contact. That's 3-0 count immediately. Teddy... Can he get a pitch to hit, and can he absolutely clobber it? Oh, get down. Yes, sir. A double? No, 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 no. Not a double. Not a double. Definitely not a double. That was a perfect throw as well. But we did bat in a run, and it's a single, so get the average up for Teddy. Any hit helps. We will take it. That was very early. 60 garb. I mean, it was 40, so I will take 60. It's definitely way better than it was. Oh, come on, ump. It was a terrible call. <laughs> uh, okay, we're going sweeper. Down and away. Doesn't swing. Okay, it's 6-1. We're actually getting run support this time, so I don't have to be that worried about, like, the occasional base runner. Which is nice. It's a bit of a relief. Now a 2-1 count. We're going to go high and outside. He swings. Okay, and now we've got a 2-2 count. Going to the cut fastball. High and inside. My favorite pitch. Ooh. This guy's short. Change up low. Bang. Gone. Out of here. It's a lot of strikeouts, I feel like. On the 0-1 count, Teddy with the pitch swings through the Vulcan. And you know what? We're going to go wacky, goofy, silly here. I'm going way outside with the sweeper. And he swings through it. Gone out of here. Schweck was his name. It's Caleb Ricketts. And he's about to eat this Vulcan change for breakfast. Oh, God. Never mind. He's skipping breakfast. Strike on the sweeper. Go high and inside on the fastball. Early, so it's high. Dang it. Now a 2-1 count. Okay, I was not paying attention. That's on me. That's a 3-1 count. Got to be a little careful here. He does not swing. Okay. So now I want to almost do the exact same pitch, but with a changeup. And see if that gets him. Yep, it does. He swung so early. He was expecting fastball the whole way.
All right, program stars. End inning without allowing a run or more than one hit. End inning without allowing a run or throwing a wild pitch. End inning without allowing a run or and record at least one strikeout. Let's do this one. I want the extra control. Assuming we can do that. So no wild pitches. It's the top of the sixth. So another good outing for Mr. Teddy Truman. As this will be a pop out to the catcher. Oh, come on. That touches the strike zone. That's a strike, buddy. All right, let's try that again. We're going high again. I mean, that's definitely a strike. That was almost right down the middle, which honestly is not ideal. We're going sweeper. I don't like throwing the sweeper against lefties. But it worked out because he fouled it off. So now it's a 1 2. So we're going to the cutter. High and inside, my favorite pitch. Bang. Oh. So now we're going to the Vulcan change. Low and inside. Gone. Oh my God. Painted the corner. A perfect pitch from Teddy Truman is another strike out of backwards K. So two gone. 0 0 count. Ooh, an even more perfect pitch from Teddy. Bro is killing it on the mound while completely on the struggle bus at the plate. Now it is an 0-2 count, and Teddy throws. Ooh, it was a good changeup. Guy lucky to make contact. Now we'll go high and inside with the fastball. See if he can make contact again. He does. Another foul. I think that this guy is going to absolutely get annihilated by a sweeper. Ready? No, he didn't. He actually puts that in play. And he's relatively fast. And, oh, no way. My first baseman just fumbled the bag so hard. They actually called an E6. They called that a throwing error on the shortstop. So I guess the throw was bad. I don't know. I, I kind of expect the first baseman to make a dig like that. Personally. That's just me, though. That's just me. But now we're getting a little concerned about not meeting that challenge. And we're getting tired. I'd love to be taken out of the game the next uh, inning. If he wants a Vulcan change to the outside, I can do that. Oh, dude. That's such a good pitch, and he just doesn't swing. It drops right out of the zone, and he's just like, I don't care. And now we go to the sweeper. Oh, man. He does not. He doesn't care. We go high and inside to the fastball. Makes Dang. Okay. We're not able to get the ball past him as much anymore. they are not being as, as dumb as dumb dummies. Yeah, they're making contact, like, every time. It's not good. That's not good. We're going to the sweeper again. Oh my god, this is concerning. These are the most patient at bats I've ever seen in my life. And I get taken out. So I think that I fail the challenge because of that. Right? I, I don't think I get those program stars. Stupid. <laughs> Bottom sixth, Teddy up to bat. Ball one. We're up six to one, so this is pretty much a guaranteed win, but... You know, maybe not. Two-zero count for Teddy. Can we put one in play and preferably like over the fence? Maybe would be cool. I was late on that. That's me. We're just getting no power on any of our hits. It seems. That's a good pitch. 2-2 two, two count. Teddy, after being up 2-0, down to a 2-2. Two, two. Why do I swing at that? That's so low. It's so out of the zone. It's so out of the zone. <laughs> ah, now it's bottom eighth. Was it out of the zone? Yeah, look at that. The fifth pitch. Look at where the fifth pitch was. The red five there on the bottom. Good lord. So bad. Oh, 
That's a strike. Okay. All right. Brother. I, like, <laughs> Teddy is getting no breaks at the plate. Just none at all. Oh, that was the chance. He left that slider way up. It's just so slow. Even with the 60 plate vision, we're still struggling out here. Oh, clobbered. That has to be gone, right? Gone. Out of here. Did you hear the absolute clack on that? Just bang. Teddy Truman, 109.1 exit velo, by the way. So fast. Just left the building. Gone. Take a look at the replay. Teddy absolutely clobbering this one. 109.1 exit velocity. I didn't see the distance. 400 feet, so not quite as far as the last one. Didn't have the high angle as the last one, but it had way faster speeds. Teddy gets another dub. He's 2-0 as a pitcher and has only given up the one earned run. Two no record, zero point six six ERA this month. Twenty five strikeouts through two starts. By the way, twenty five. That's nasty. He's a strikeout machine. Our final line score: first for the victorious Binghamton Rumble Party. Nine runs, twelve hits, one error. They left nine runners on base. Story mode: It's on Hall of Fame, idiot. I'm just going to say hit a home run. Screw it. Dang it. <laughs> We're already down to nothing, bro. Just let, uh, just let Teddy pitch every game, to be honest. Oh, that was the one. I was so early. I was so early. We're up to a 216 average, which is so bad. Two balls, two we bring it back to a 2 2 count. Teddy Truman looking to get back to being an absolute god. Ooh, okay, that was very early. He's never been a god, actually. I don't know why I said get back to. Looking to become an absolute god. 2 2 count. So slow. Put me in the majors, bro. I'd be hitting better, genuinely. This is like in Rocket League when you play people that are way lower ranked than you, and you just you can't because there's like you struggle because they're just so bad, they're so slow that you don't know what to do. You know, that's just a pop out. Ah, dang it. <laughs> Your life, that's your life in Rocket League. Okay, we're now down five to two. One ball. Okay. I like how the game gives me a bonus for good take at the top left for that, even though it almost hit me as if I was going to swing. One oh count. Oh, come on. Teddy. Oh, brother. Over two on the day, bottom sixth. We're down six to two. Dude, he's why is he popping all of these up? I might turn on the PCI. I actually might. This is so bad. He pops up everything. He's underneath everything. And I prefer to have the PCI off because it makes the ratings mean something. But like, God. Okay, that's going to be a bloop single. And it's probably going to score a run. That guy's fast. It does score a run. So an RBI bloop single for Teddy Truman in the bottom of the eighth. But we're down 10 to 3, so it's not going to matter. Oh, 
Oh, wow. Bottom ninth, 10 to 7. Two out rally here. Uh oh. Now Teddy has to absolutely clutch up. Even a home run here, though, only makes it 10 9. It's almost better to get on base for the opportunity to tie with the next guy up. I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> it's almost better to get on base. Swings at the most horrific inside pitch anyone's ever seen. Okay, buddy. All right. <laughs> it was so bad. We're in right field this next game. That's just a fly out to left field, I think. Does not have the juice. Uh, I'm sad. I'm sad. That's another fly out to left. Wait! It's a double! The first double in the career of Teddy Truman. It hit the wall. Oh my god. The annoying part about Teddy Truman so far is that he has, like, medium power. Like, he has enough power to hit it fairly deep. But it's just a fly out every time. But this time, got enough on it where it hits the wall. And is a double. Which is the first time I've hit extra bases that wasn't a home run. Back at the plate. Here it comes, baby. It's my time to shine. Ball one. Ball two. That's a pretty good pitch, though. Yeah, his contact's not great. He's a power hitter through and through. Ball three. All right, I'm, I'm getting ready to power swing. I don't usually power swing. I do like the neutral swing. But now I'm going to power swing. I was very late. I'm going to power swing again on a 3-1, I think. <gasps> oh, is that what I've been doing wrong? Do I need to be power swinging just nonstop? We're going to. That's another double for Teddy Truman. Because there's like a contact swing, a normal swing, and a power swing. And I usually just do the normal swing. But maybe I should start power swinging. Dang, that's already game over? Goodness. Teddy went two for three with two doubles, though. He's five for 13 with a home run and five RBIs during this series. That's pretty good. He's, he's figuring it out. He's starting to learn the way. The way of double A. Oh, my God. I'm a genius. I'm a lyrical genius. Ball one. So yeah, let's just get up in counts and then power swing. We're up to a 244 average, which actually isn't super terrible. Let's get up in counts and then power swing. Or you can power swing and fucking whiff on a ball out of the zone. That was a power swing. It was so early though. 80 miles per hour on the circle change is so bad. All right, here we go. Now's my time. Now's my time. I, you know, I felt like I had to swing at that with two strikes. I probably wouldn't have otherwise. I was still early, even though I thought about all of that. Oh, 
Little bloop, single. That's not a bloop at all. That's actually fairly deep. But it is caught. Give the first baseman a smooch and then go back to the dugout. I swear, I play in right field. I get almost no plays that are like pop outs. Oh, I immediately went the wrong way. Oh no, that is so embarrassing. Oops. <laughs> I preemptively went to the left because that's what all the plays have been. Oh, that is completely my fault. That should just be an out. <laughs> they don't even rule that an error is the funny thing, even though it's definitely an error. I just let the uh, fighting, whatever these guys are called, back into the game. Oops. Oopsie. Oh, oh, is Teddy about to rob another home run? You guys see this? Nope. <laughs> the way he just stood there. Oh my god. Something about the way he just like stood there after that little jump was very funny. Just a little, just a little hop, and then he just <laughs> stared. Hopefully, we can, I hope we get to see it in the replay. Yep, yeah, there he is. <laughs> just finish his hop and just. Absolutely staring. Now we're down four to three. Okay, there we go. We're up in the count. 2 0 count. I'm getting ready to power swing. 3 0 count. I'm absolutely ready to power swing. Never mind. Disparage. Showtime activated. Uh oh. Got it. Bang! Diving play. There's a little too much slow motion in that, I think. But it's pretty cool. I like that. That's much easier than just hitting the dive button and most likely catching it. So I like that there's a little bit of a difficulty to it. That's cool. But slow motion's a little too long. This guy has the slowest pitches I have ever seen. Chester, lean into that. I called him Chester again. Teddy. Teddy, lean into that. Chester, you're nowhere to be found. Oof, that was terrible. Chester in the stands. I don't think Chester would be caught dead at a Rumble Ponies game. Bro is the best wide receiver in the NFL. You think he's at a Rumble Ponies game? That's a hit. What's this other team called? I don't even know. The Redding fighting something, I think. Fighting Phils or something. That might also be a hit. No, I think the, the right fielder's getting there for sure. Dang it. Why do you play so far to the right, you weirdo? Boy, oh boy. Go to, we're going to. Absolute dot. Lucky that guy didn't run. One for three with a single. Okay, batting average is still on its way up. Still headed upwards. Okay, we're pitching today. Do I really want to do another pitching game? These take so long. I was hoping I didn't have another pitching game because this was going to be my last series before ending stream. That might be a bloop single. Nope. Not enough bloop. Not enough bloop. Wait. It said starting pitcher. So I... The game just scammed me. It said starting pitcher slash designated hitter. So I picked my pitcher preset and then we're not pitching. 
I just, I just got absolutely scammed. And now I freaking pop out again. I'm tilted. I got scammed. Oh, do not get. A perfect, perfect, and I got, okay. Got scammed again. Teddy, 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 Teddy. Did you hear that clapping noise just now, Jack? I want you to know that was my hand landing on my head. That noise. <laughs> it's absolute skin to skin. Okay, well, the next game is definitely a pitching game, if it was saying that, so I am going to return to the clubhouse and probably call it an evening there. Yippee! Yippee! Oh, we have a dynamic perk! We have a dynamic perk! Outfielders throw harder when there are runners in scoring position. Slightly increased pitch accuracy when ahead in the count and the bases are empty. Increased pitch velocity and break while your energy is below 50% and runners are on base. No way, I just got balded by Mish. That's crazy. That is crazy. Which one of these do I pick? I'm going to do this one. All right, chat, uh, that is going to do it for me this evening. Um, I'm going to go edit the video for tomorrow, and I need to download and edit this VOD because I forgot to hit the record button because I am a professional at what I do. Uh, I'm really, really good at this. But anyway, that that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed more Road to the Show to come. Probably be a very regular stream thing. Probably every couple of nights or so I'll stream more Road to the Show. Should be fun. Um, gotta play more Oh Dear True. Good night.